Mamma mia. Here I go again. I'm going to go play AI1. Tula, get your ass out of here. Get your ass out of here. Okay. So. I cannot believe. I cannot believe this shit. Used to thank God that Faye Banner is in Heat Heat. Ymir looks nice, I can't lie. Ymir looks really nice. Okay, okay. Let's get it started. Cali, what's up? AI summon him too. Why doesn't AI summon him too have a fucking um icon? Bro, I don't know why. I want something to drink so bad. All right, let's get it started. You said there's free DLC? No, 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 no. We're not out here fiending for the DLC. We're going to start the game first. Albies, thank you. Teacups that are flying on maps mystifying. You'll think that I'm lying. This old tale of mine. A I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about, man. You're probably throwing a reference at me right now that's completely going over my head. You're probably throwing a reference over me right now. Or is that a song of the game? Teacups that are flying, all maps mystifying. Okay, I get it now, because I have to sing it. When Brian just says it outright, it doesn't sound right. So let's just get it started. You gotta sing it. Brian, this is Brian. Teacups that are flying, on maps mystifying. You'll think that I'm lying. You said rest in peace infamous motherfucker when a mother yo if you get gifted this many subs you you want me to just look at chat in the eye and be like hey man yo thanks for the damn near 200 subs we about to play infamous <laughs> it's our fault yes it is because i was expecting that this shit was gonna get probably broken within two weeks maybe even a month but not in one fucking sitting in a day. All right, let's let's get it popping. Standard, Somnium, Standard. Yeah, Standard. I ain't no pussy. Let's go. This game features autosave. Peggy 12. The story is a work of fiction. Any resemblance to actual people, organizations, product names, and locations are... They said the same thing in Persona. Oh my god. Yo, Atlas, please, bro. Our strange tale. Converge, chapter zero. Can you put the chat above your cam and not below? Why? Where am I? Who the fuck is this? You okay, Ryuki? No fucking way. I just hope and say and the next grand hero battle is a minor boss from Fire Emblem Echoes and it's fucking brigand boss. Oh. I'm gonna be honest, bro. I never played that game. But thank you for the 100 bits, Sora. Come on. Yo, boss is so fucking fine. Yo, I'm still surprised they kept him with the same clothes. All right, let's keep going. Next question. 
In Indian mythology, what is the name of the half-god, half-beast spirits that imbibe sense and are known for their musical ability? I don't fucking know. Isn't it Iris? A door. A big camera. A button. Bro. A monitor. This shit's way faster now. Oh, okay. In Indian mythology, what is the name of the half god, half beast spirits? that imbibe sense and are known for their musical ability. If you know the answer, spit it out. Just press the button already. You see that button on the table, right? No. You push it and you get to answer the question. Shit, I want to push something else. Nah, where am I? What? You're joking, right? What are you talking about? I don't know. That's the answer button for the quiz. Who the fuck is this, Tama? Why don't you press it? Tama? You mean this button? Yeah. You better hurry, or the other teams are gonna answer before you. There we go! Team Popo was the quickest. And your answer is... The quickest. Date. In Indian mythology, what is the name of the half god, half beast spirit? I don't fucking know, dude. You say you should know? You say it gotta be Date? I think it's Date. You said fake Persona fan. You haven't played enough Persona. Are you talking about the the, the red monster with the six hands that moves like this in, in Persona games? It's literally a Persona. No help. All right, I'm about to Google it real quick. Um, I don't know. Half God, half beast. What's a half God, half beast? Centaur, huh? Uh, I thought you might say that, but sorry, that's wrong. The correct answer is Gandharva. Team Popo got the answer wrong, so they get a 10 point penalty. Okay, let's keep going then, shall we? Next question. Are you familiar with the new Cyclops serial killers? There's a new Cyclops killer? You said fake Persona fan? It's an Indian god? Do I look Indian? I'm Dominican. Uh, what? No, no, not you, Mr. Ryuki. What? This question. Is for that person on the other side. Oh, who was that? The questions in this quiz aren't aimed at you, Reed. They're for you. On the other side. I don't understand what you're saying. Yes. Yes. You think so? Seems like a normal quiz to me. Boss, you're playing around too much, bro. Oh, and Team Popo presses the button. You must be ready to answer. Ah, but before you do, I want you to take this question very seriously. The new Cyclops serial killings, the incident in which many victims got their eye gouged out of murder. Are you or are you not familiar with it? I am. 
This will be too long if we can dig into the details of that incident in the coming six days. Six days? In other words, we're asking if we can give you spoilers for the first game. Oh! But don't worry. Even if you don't know anything about it, it won't affect how you progress through this game. The sound of serial killers and what you're about to experience, they have nothing to do with each other. Promise. You're a liar. So please, just tell me honestly. Are you familiar with the new Cyclops serial killing? Yes. Are you sure? Don't be lying now. Let's give you a simple test just to make sure. Y'all gonna test me, bro? The one who resolved the new Cyclops serial killings was Kaname Date of Abyss. Yes. On the final day of that investigation, someone was shot in the leg by the culprit. Oh my. Who was that someone? <laughs> shot in the leg, bro? Oh my god, bro. Now I gotta think. Who the fuck was shot in the leg? Oh now my need to god. Give you their last name. First name only, please. Yo, oh my god. No! Come on, multiple, not even multiple choice, you fucking bitch, bro. Alright, um. Hold on. On the final day of the new Cyclops killing investigation, who was the one that got shot in the leg? <laughs> the chat says, it hurt. Yo, I'm dead, bro, because I was dying when that happened. <laughs> it, it was Mizuki, right? It has to be Mizuki. The way she said it, it hurts. Yo, it has to be. Oh, not bad. You're correct. But you could have just gotten lucky. How about we go for one Yo, I actually one forgot more she got shot in the leg. Who is the true culprit of the new Cyclops serial killer? Saito. Answer with just the first name again, please. Wonderful. That's another right answer. Sorry for doubting you. You really do know about the new Cyclops killings. Did you hear that sound? That means the next question will be the last. Are you ready? <laughs> it hurts! A precognitive dream. Oh no. Is a dream that lets you see the future. A precognitive dream lets you, it's a dream that lets you see the future. But these precognitive dreams, are they really? Huh? Truly. Huh? Stop it, you're scaring me. Bro. I swear, if I see So Sejima. I swear, if So Sejima pops up. He gonna be like, I didn't commit the murder. What's wrong? Are you okay? Are you okay? Boss, please don't 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 get split in half. Mama, boss. <sighs> this is all a nightmare. Wake your ass up. Yo, chat, I just thought about something. In that part in the beginning, did I have to get all the answers right to get a trophy? Please don't tell me I have to get all that right to get that to, to get the trophy. I don't think so. Is that Mizuki? Why she got eye but her eye? What happened to her eye? Be careful, Mizuki. 
I've detected a biological response. <gasps> we got IBUS. Is this like another IBUS? Is it the same IBA? Three o'clock. Distance of 315 feet. In the middle row of seats. A sniper? Bolt action? Oh, we got coochie E's? Where the porno mags? Throw up, throw up the porno bags. Limited edition! Throw that shit up. Okay, during the story. Uh, what? You can now use zoom and night vision mode function. Okay. It's a device that records the lap times for runners. The game is loud, I'll lower it. Is that better? It can display time in increments of one one thousandth of a second. Focus, we've got more important things to deal with. You're the one who inspected it. Okay. Where's the night vision? What the? Are they really gonna shoot us without warning like that? It would have been stranger if they announced their intentions first. Who's the target? Where are they? It's too dark and they're too far away. Calm down, Mizuki. You can use a little bit higher, you motherfucker. You said too loud, now you said it's too low. That's it. Functions? Remember your training? Oh, right. So now we gotta go to the zoom. Iba, zoom in. Night vision mode. Roger that. This motherfucker right here. I don't see anyone. Hmm. Use the X-ray next. Understood. Found you. Who is that? Identity unknown. Judging from their figure, they appear to be female. Ah, so she's jealous, huh? I bet that's it. Oh. Why else would another girl target me? Oh. You can't think of any other reason? No, it's always jealousy. Well, sure, but I'm really cute, you know? Okay, Mizuki, here we go. She's getting, she got a little bit of that cockiness from Date. I'm gonna keep it a stack. She got a little bit of that cockiness from Date. That's why other girls don't like me much. Aww. Uh, I'm fairly certain that has more to do with your personality. Mizuki, low evolver with a stun grenade round. You should be able to knock your opponent unconscious by detonating it near them. Got it. Oh, nice. It's a stun grenade. How fuck you gonna? That's a grenade launcher, baby pistol. Okay, it's ready. I will display the aiming reticle. Take aim and pull the trigger. On it. What's with this little? Damn. You're done. Where'd she go now? She gonna be right behind you. Detecting the target's footsteps. They seem to be heading toward the stadium exit. Ugh. Can't let them get away. No, let's go check the body. Mizuki, wait. Even you won't be able to catch exactly. up to them. Exactly. Fuck it. More importantly... What's with the body in the middle of the field? There's something there. Yes. Hey, that's... That's who? You recognize him? Yeah, I'm sure of it. I'll never forget. It's... It's who? Who the fuck is this? Damn, I... Yo, they just cut people in half, half now? His body. Where the blood? Where the organs? Motherfuckers is just straight up getting exacto knived? Bruh! His name is Jin Furue. Jin Furue. I remember it clearly. Six years ago, a 
Secret Studio Divita. Huh? The... The what? Right half of his body. Six years ago. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Ryuki, what's wrong? Pull yourself together. Yo! Boss, where am I? Who the fuck is that square head motherfucker on the left? Don't tell me you were sleeping. He falls asleep in the middle of a live stream. Well. <laughs> is that Iris? Mr. Ryuki, you're working under boss, right? I'm not gonna lie, bro. I, I, I kinda... I'm kinda glad to see Iris. Even though I saw her literally about a week ago, I, I kinda missed Iris. And that's baby Mizuki. Boss, have you been giving him vacation time? She's probably working him to the bone on his off hours, too. That's not Moma's voice. I resent that. That is not true. It is? I just happen to scrape the straight and cornium off my heels every once in a while. <laughs> hey, Ryuki. Are you sure you're alright? I like the Ryuki character, how he looks a lot. I think he looks really cool. Oh, um. I yeah. love his hair. Alright, now that Mr. Ryuki is away, let's get back to it, shall we? Here we go. Next question. Which tower's symbol, shaped like interlocking black and white commas, huh? represents the origin of all things? Bro, why are you asking me all these questions? I'm not... What the? A blackout? What are you standing around for? Get the lights! Somebody just died. Yeah, I'm on it! Somebody just got chopped. Oh. Is that a QR code? Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Yeah! Wait, wait, wait. What's the QR code? What the fuck is this? Hold on, I'm gonna have to get the link to this so I could, so I could like show it to you guys. What the fuck is this? Let me share it. Bro, what the fuck? So the QR code was this. I'm just gonna post it in the in the community tab. So then from there, I could just click it here. Oh, the music is so spooky. What the fuck is this? This is what the fuck I'm looking at? Some type of clue. Cool. What's in the name of Local 58? Bro. There has to be some type of clue in there. There has to be some type of clue. Alright, let, let's keep it moving. <sighs> look, at, look at Iris. Iris is like, oh, hell no. Nah.
What the fuck was that video, though? I feel like we're gonna have to come back to it. Where the fuck's Kagami? That's gotta be Kagami. Ask his name. It's Kagami. Oh, I finished gathering DNA samples. It is Kagami. It's being sent to forensics now. I'm sure the results will be out shortly. Wait. Of course, ma'am. It's Jin Furaway. I don't think there's anyone in our generation who wouldn't recognize him. Jin Furaway. IT company CEO. He was famous until he passed away. Well, even after he died. And six years ago, I was part of that investigation too. You said his voice actor passed away? No way. Were you at the studio by any chance? You don't remember? We did talk for a bit. Um, sorry, don't remember. Oh my gosh, he's just like Date. Mizuki, you fart. You don't leave much of an impression. In a good way. Why are you so mean to him? In a good way? Hello Retro, this is Kotaro Yuchikoshi, creator of AI, The Somnium Files. I'm glad that you used the ER code to find the video. However, I must also inform you, regrettably, that watching the video will result in your immediate demise. The only way to prevent this is to play my other game, Zero Escape, Virtue's Last Reward in one sitting. Thank you, Connor, for the hundred bits. I have a bad feeling about this, but you really want to know my name? Yeah. Then I'll tell you, but please don't forget it, okay? Got it. My name is Kagami. <laughs> hmm. Kagami, huh? Okay, I'll remember that. Why does it keep saying ask his name? Mm-hmm. Here it comes. I knew <laughs> this would happen. He's self-aware. He still has PTSD from the last game. Oh my god, why can't I keep asking him? I'll say it one more time. My name is Kagami. I told you it's Kagami! I know his name already. I don't think I need to ask again. I think I know his name already. I probably don't need to ask. This must be the work of Nyx. Believe me, man. Yo, true. Nice it laws? True. Thank you for the 100 bits. Kagami? His name is, uh, what is it again? Oh my god, just like Date. Hey, what's your name again? Give me a break. By the way, what's with the, the man? This is a high level organization in the police department. You do technically outrank me, ma'am. Huh. Really? But you don't need to worry about the formalities with me. What? For real? I can be casual with you? Do you want to get your ass kicked? Mizuki. Sorry. Uh, sorry, ma'am. Stop being so mean to Kagami. Nah. The lining has eating wires in it, so I'm warm. Oh, thank you for the concern, though. Weird, though, isn't it? He got killed six years ago. He got killed six years ago, and this is when we find his body cuts in half, and that's his actually, that's his actual body. What what happened? Was he dunked? Was he sitting in liquid nitrogen the whole time? <sighs> if this game has anything to do with So Sejima's fucking ice warehouse, I swear, dude. I swear to God, we better not see that, where, that warehouse. Oh, no. I just started investigating, really. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm scared now. I'm scared we're gonna see that fucking warehouse. It's snowing, but it hasn't piled up yet. Yeah. By the way, Mizuki, there is something that has been bothering me. What's this? This is the field before law enforcement arrived. I heard if you wear a dark navy winter jacket with a black cap and face mask while in a locked bathroom and ask what's your name three times in front of a mirror with the lights turned off, you'll hear someone complain. Yo. I should try that. Notice anything Thank you for the 100 bits. 
No, nothing in particular. The turf runs a considerable distance and is wet from the snow. If someone were to step on it, they would leave a trace. However, there aren't any footprints. So did they just drop him from the sky? Indeed. Then how did the body... Unknown. Perhaps they descended from the sky. Yeah. Or rose up from the ground. That would make no sense. Or... He must have came up from the sky. They teleported here. Oh my god, on some Abra shit? Teleported? I was joking. Do not take it seriously. Haven't found anything yet. What the f- Yo, who is this guy? What is this character model? Though there is something I didn't find that's particularly interesting. The footprints. Bingo. Ooh, his voice. There isn't a single footprint on the field that doesn't belong to someone here. So just how did the culprit do it? Your... What? You really don't know? What? I'm Detective Ushidera. Special Investigations Office. MPD. Any leads? Introduce myself. I don't even have to ask about you. Yamizuki Okiura, 18 years old. A high schooler attending Sekiba High. The all-girls school, right? Ah, but Okiura is your former name. You've been adopted by Date, if I remember correctly. You were at the studio when the other half of the corpse was found. So I take it you were there too? Chat's about to have a field day now. Yeah. Back then I was on the investigation team. Though you were 12 at the time, so I can't blame you for not remembering me. I heard you became a special agent at Abyss. That boss lady got her claws in you, huh? This little girl gets hired as an investigator. Huh. <sighs> Guess they'll take anyone they can get. Times sure have changed. Abyss is a particularly special organization. Mizuki was hired via what might be referred to as extra legal measures. Hmm. No one I should be asking you. You're the one who discovered the body, right? True. You were also at the studio six years ago. True, we when I already look suspicious. I'm already suspicious. Quite a coincidence. Yeah. Don't you think? Fuck. What are you trying to say? Yeah. I can't blame him. Why did you come here? I got a Nile message. It said HB Stadium. From who though? And we don't know who. That could only be referring to the case six years ago, right? The half-body serial killings. So it's no longer the Cyclops serial killings, the half body. We just gonna be seeing people chopped up now? I need to know more about that case. It changed my life forever. So that's why I came. Damn, so we're not even yoinking eyeballs anymore. Iba's trivia regarding Mizuki's smartphone. If I get reception, I can connect to. Uh... Um, who sent the message? I don't- It was sent from- Someone must have wanted me to discover the body. I can send and receive messages from now. Someone? I don't want you to know about my private life. Wait, what the fuck does that say on the top? Maybe the culprit. Why would the culprit do that to you? I... Don't know. There is one more thing we don't know. The masked woman who shot at us earlier. Who could this person of interest be? I don't know. And why did she try to kill you? Mm. Would you like to check the corpse with x-ray mode? Yes, please. Yeah. It's unlikely, but maybe the right half of the body is buried in the ground. You could simply flip the body over. No way. I don't want to see that cut. Especially not down there. Hmm. In that case, how's this? Don't you miss the trivia? I did. I was trying to see it. Bro, it's actually a body perfectly split in half. Thanks. I see now. That body is definitely just the left half. Oh, I can see everybody. 
Skeletos. Boss, finally, now's my chance. Bones! I guess you can say I have a boner. Okay, let's just... Don't say shit, chat, please. Why? What is it? Well, I was just wondering if he contacted you or anything. I would have let you know right away if he did. Date was caught in that explosion six years ago. Explosion? And has been missing ever since. Missing? Huh? Date's body was never recovered from the scene. Why are they showing this body as Date's? Didn't Date... No, you said because of spoiler, that's a dumb excuse! Don't worry. I am positive it would take more than that to kill Kaname Date. I am certain he's at the Hot Springs District in Atami or someplace. Spending his time in leisure. With the big breasted receptionist. If he is, I'd go down there and drown him in that boiling water myself. Of course. Not. What? Why not? Because you're only 18, Mizuki. You're still a student at Sekiba High. But I barely even go now. I graduate in a month. I hardly have any classes left. The point is, you're still a student. Then why did you let me join Abyss? Because I thought you had potential as a singer. I assume your gargantuan strength and combat ability were a factor as well. But you're basically still an intern. You've only been training for about a month. It's way too early to put you in the field. Why are you here? You do know I'm the commander of Abyss, right? You're right. Right, but that's why I'm asking. Isn't it a bit weird for you to be at a crime scene in person? This case is special. I saw it too, six years ago. The other half of the corpse. At Studio Devita. And the HB case is still open, even after all this time. The reputation of the whole department hangs on this case. By HB case, she is referring to the half-body serial killings. So named because the victim's bodies were cut in two. The culprit is known as Terror. Wow. Their identity is unknown. Six years have passed since Terror first made themselves known, but we have yet to find any promising leads. I already know that. You don't have to explain it. Bro. That's just nutty. Oh, yeah, I thought you'd say that. Please, boss. The Ibis Trivia. Regarding terror, terror has two meanings. Tear as in tears when you cry and tear. Or tear as in to rip something. The culprit of the HB case. I have to. It's more. Cases. Okay. Reference to the latter. By adding an ER at the end of tear, we get terror. What do you do with Aba Aba's Trivial? Do you just read it? That's it? Is that all you do? Oh, okay. Alright, that's good information. Can you not give me the puppy dog eyes? You know I'm weak to the puppy dog eyes. Oh. Oh my god. This... Shut up! Stop crying! You want a mighty kid's meal? Fine, but promise me one thing. Swear to me that you won't do anything dangerous or illegal, no matter what. Dangerous? No. Illegal? Yeah, I swear, I swear! And one more thing. I am your superior. You should address me with a little more respect. 
Ten four, boss man. I read you loud and clear. Do you? She is my direct superior now. Hmm. The lights. Entrance. I will get the more shocking facts out of the way for the estimated time of death is approximately nine hours ago. How does that make any sense? Didn't they say that they found the other body six, the other half of the body six years ago? What? Nine hours ago? It is currently nine o'clock. So that would mean he was killed around 12. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. That makes no sense. They said they found the other half of his body six years ago. And now they're saying that the time of death for this body was nine hours ago. Six years ago, I... Yeah, I'm, okay, man. Like, like this is some acid trip. Hold that thought. There's more. As you can see, the body was cut in two. There are no other external wounds on the body. It appears that he was sliced in half while he was still alive. As for what was used to cut him, I am sorry, but that cannot be determined. Bro, it was that same cutting board in AI um, Somnium 1 with the fucking polar bear costume. It was that same cutting board that cut him in half. What do you mean? Judging by the cross section, it is clear that it was not a blade. That's Cap. It was Ulta's bitch ass. It could not be a laser or pressurized water either. Then what was it? As I said, I do not know. The body was cut at the molecular level. Molecular? There is hardly any blood left in the body. It could be speculated that the corpse was left with the cut section facing the ground. However, there are no traces yeah. of any blood flow on the ground. Therefore, it is clear that he was murdered at some other location. That's so weird. So where's... Ah, <sighs> so if it was cut nine hours ago, doesn't that mean... That maybe the other half body piece was in his half body piece. Now what? Half dick. Oh, and the data, the data save is quick. Eyeballs obtained. the more they grow like a tamagotchi why was i born into this world um something needs to be done did you find what you need to do the fuck he fell asleep
I'm so confused. Okay. Who else do I talk to? Corpse oh, face. Definitely Jin Furoe. Yeah. The same face we saw six years ago at Studio Divita. Jin was a young industrialist. He was quite famous and often made media appearances. This cannot possibly be a stranger who happens to look like him. Cap, anything is possible in this game. I wouldn't be surprised if that's a clone. Six years ago, Jin Furaway's body was discovered in Studio Divita. And now, his left half was found here at the stadium. And yet his time of death is 12 o'clock today. Which means that half his body was alive very recently. What the hell is going on? My brain is doing cartwheels trying to figure this out. Hey! Iba? Iba. Hold on, did Iba just appear? Yeah. Wait, let me put my earphones in. Can you hear me, boss? Yeah, loud and clear. Adrian! That's what I was thinking. What if the body was frozen? There are no signs of him ever having been frozen. That half body was definitely alive until just recently. I swear, if there's an Adrian option in this game, I'm gonna laugh. What? I mean, the heart is in the left half of the body. I get it. You think they might have sewn the body back together? No. no. There are no traces of that. And were you two being serious? You do realize the cerebrum, brainstem, and spinal cord were completely severed in two? How the fuck did they perfectly cut this man in half like that, though? What if Jin has a twin brother? That's what I was saying. I looked into Jin Furoi's family background. Not only did he not have a twin, but there is no record of him ever having siblings. What if the right and the left half belong to different people? I, of course, did consider it a possibility. But both faces match perfectly. The rest depends on the DNA results. Mm. I have no idea what's going on. But this case is definitely connected to the incident six years ago. Which means the half-body case isn't over yet. Six years ago, I was 12. She said, I obviously wasn't in Abyss then. I wasn't part of the investigation at all. I didn't know much about the case. I did see some of the investigation documents during my training, but the information there wasn't much better than the information on the internet, so I couldn't get the full picture. Hey, Iba, how much do you know about the HB serial killings? As you know, my knowledge of the case is about the same as yours. Due to the explosion six years ago, I lost all of my memories from a few days before that point. And due to poor connection, I was unable to send or retrieve any backups. What about you, boss? Same for me. Ryuki was the one on the case at the time. I don't know anything other than what he reported. What about the stuff he didn't report? Mm -hmm. I'm not a psychic. How would I know something that he didn't tell me? Aiba, where is Ryuki now? I've determined the location from Toma's GPS. Currently, Ryuki seems to be in Golden Yokocho. No. No, I don't want to go to Golden Yokocho and see all the fucking mermaids. No. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, look how many locations. Alright, off to Golden Yokocho. You said wrong place? Is it even worse? That's where Mama's at. Oh, I was thinking of the sunfish pocket. Oh, I better see Mama's delicious self in there. Who is this GameCube head motherfucker? Who the fuck am I? Where am I? Are you still out of it, Mr. Ryuki? Oh, I'm this Ryuki is Studio now. Divita in Minato Roppongi. 
It's a rental studio, mostly used for live streaming, filming, that kind of thing. Oh, and it's obviously, it's obvious that you can tell who is the person that you're using because of the right side in the bottom here. Ibus is yellow, and when you switch, it turns, what, what is that, like brown or like a dark red? Did you really not understand what you were getting into when you agreed to this? We arrived here right as the stream was about to begin. They made us sit in the contestant seat right away without telling us anything. Well, the title of our show is said, right there. And it says Side Ryuki. Faith to Faith, oh, I didn't, our special six-hour live stream marathon brought to you by Amabi TV. We it's... cut the stream, of course, but the cameras should have been running when that body appeared. I'm sure all of Japan or even the world tuning in on the internet is in shock right now. He said Amabi TV is a live streaming internet service for PC and smartphone. The the quiz show Faith to Face is one of the shows. It's a mildly popular show with everyday people as contestants. And unironically, everyone that was a fucking contestant was somewhat related to the freaking origami killings of six years ago. Wow. We just have bad luck. They're being questioned by the police in the waiting room. Mr. Ryuki, aren't you with the police too? Well, yes. I th His name was Andy's Kameji, I think. Hi, this is a high level investigation. That's his stage name, of course. His real name is Yonaharu Enda. You said go to Tama's room? Calm your horny ass down. We trying to find out why a man is in half. And you out here horny. Relax. He's a comedian. I've never heard of him before. Look at this man. He's literally He's cut in half. Good. And y'all like, oh, go to I the room. Suppose you can do better, asshole. What do you know about comedians? Listen, comedians are all doing their best so they can bring people joy. True. And here you are, just... Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Oh, she's mean. I've known Tama for... For more than a half a year now, but I still have a hard time understanding what sets her off. I have no idea um, that that was a sensitive subject. Okay. Big monitor. Oh no. Jin Furoe? Yes, of course I know about him. I actually follow him on Two Witter. Two Witter! He cuts through all the BS of the modern world. He's insightful, inspiring in a way. Well. What? You still haven't taken DNA samples? Easier said than done. Most of the blood was drained from the body, so we have no choice but to take samples from the organs. Wait, hey, this is no place for a kid. What do you mean? I mean, you're right next to the body. So? So? Well, you... You could be traumatized for life seeing something like this. I'm fine. I've seen worse. Mm. Anyway, you're in the way. <laughs> fine. Well, there you have it. So, in other words, you don't have anything. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I had a bad experience. I try not to tell people my name. I wonder why. Then I'll tell you instead. His name is Kagami. Tama. Kagami, huh. Luna, thank you for the resub. Huh? How did you know? Smile. Why? Why does this keep happening? My name cursed or something? <laughs> we made him crazy. Oh, all I can do is laugh now. I told you it's Kagami. I already know his name. I don't think I need to ask again. I'm pretty sure I know his name. I probably don't need to ask. His name is, uh, what is it again? Fuck. Um, I'm sorry. What was your name? 
Oh, come on. I'm sure you actually remember. Mimiga, was it? Not even close! Ah, oh, my mistake. It's Mimigawa, isn't it? Oh my god, dude. It's neither! No need to shout, Kagami. <sighs> I knew it. It's all right now! Because I am here! Half might! I'm gonna go get a drink. Because I know he did not just do a fucking My Hero Academia reference. Give me a sec, I gotta get a drink. Fucking half my... I'm sorry, Chad, I'm back. Mr. Libido Dance? Controller? Why is my controller's battery? Okay, Mr. Ryuki, I feel like you aren't exactly a sound of mind right now. Ryuki can sometimes, oftentimes get weird like this. He isn't doing well mentally. One of my jobs is to support him. <laughs> okay. Lots is it true that body appeared out of nowhere? It's hard to believe. This is weird. So if the body appeared out of nowhere, 
This shit making it sound like something about space and time now. Please, don't rush me. I'm doing the best I can. Looks like he's just standing there to me. True. Yeah. <sighs> Unfortunately, nothing yet. What is up with this detective? HQ still hasn't gotten any reports about the half-body being found. Hell, maybe it's never going to be found. What if that body crossed over time That's what I said. space to get here? It's possible, right? That's what I said. I'm like, this is sounding like something about space and time now. No? <sighs> I already know all about you. No need to say it. Cool. Due to your excellent oh, arcs and skills, you graduated from my grades and an elite private university. In wait, 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 wait. What? Yes. What did I just do? What did I just do? How the fuck did I get in here? Wait, when did I even get in here? What did I press? Worried about health? Nah, chat. Nah, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Yeah, y'all just horny. Y'all just horny. Nope. 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 At 21. Nope. Afterward, you went through training at Police Academy for 15 months and were accepted into Abyss last summer. It's incredibly rare for anyone to get into Abyss without having stepped foot on a crime scene. Don't tell me you slept your way in with Boz. Uh, of course I didn't. I took the formal exam and Boss acknowledged my abilities. You mean your endurance? You're a young guy. Yeah, Boss definitely seems more into the marathons than the sprints. What are you talking about? Well, Ryuki, when a man and a woman love each other very much... You don't have to explain it. I get it. We work in the same building and you don't know my name. Can't blame you though. You're new. Metro PD, Major Crimes. Name's Ushidera. We're just gonna call him Ushi. Momo, how you been? Anyway, it's real fucked up. Even people in my world want to kill someone so gruesomely. That bastard. Scaring Tessa like this. Whoever did this better make sure the cops get to him before I do. He's still the same way. Scaring Tessa! Oh, you mean Chinpei? Chinpei? Chinpei Wagai. That's his name. Hey, what he happened to the other guy? He got married. Until just recently. Was? Hey, he went clean. Left the life completely. And where is he now? Who knows? The moment he saw the corpse, he flew out of the room, white as a sheet. He's probably puking into a toilet somewhere. Damn. His name is Moma Kumakura. He's a leader of the Kumakura gang, which is under the Uchisaki family. I know. The Kumakuras are known for being peculiar, even among Yakuza. But why is their leader at a live-streamed quiz show? Because Tessa's there. That's why. Tessa! Are you okay? Does she look okay to you? Yo, Mizuki. Yo, if you want the smoke off rip. I already talked to the other detective. I want to go home already. I know her name without asking. Iris Sagan. I was introduced before the show started, and. She was involved in the new Cyclops serial killings that happened last November. Last November? Hmm. A year ago? You read the reports. No, I don't know how long ago was it. Yeah, so I know enough about what happened. Mr. Date was also on that case. Okay. Mr. Date. Oh, by the way, this case and the new Cyclops serial killings are not related. Though that is just a hunch. That's all you have to say. Now it is related. It has to be related. There's no way that it's not related. We're the same fucking people that was in the last case. Do you know the victim? Teleportation. What? That body teleported here from a parallel world. I hope we get to play fucking Shovel Forge. But only half of his body was able to make it through. That's why he was 
split in half. I, you know what? I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna probably agree with what she said. Jeez. I, ho I hope she also mentions the Nizet laws. Hey! How many legs do you like? I like two. It's a normal E. She's trembling. You know the victim? Of course. Jin Furroway, right? I've seen him online a bunch of times. What are you doing? What? Isn't it obvious? What? What are you doing? Iris is totally freaking out, so I'm helping her calm down. When are you letting me leave anyway? You're not gonna leave. That other detective said you still had questions you needed to ask. So... Her name is Mizuki Date, 12 years old. Her former name is Okiura. But she was adopted by my superior officer, Kaname Date. Oh, so Date is your superior officer. That's why I've met her a few times before. Like the time you carried Date home on your back after he had one too many rounds. Hmm? Hmm? I don't know. Not his guardian, you know. Now you kind of are his guardian. He got all giddy about taking a long vacation. No, tell me he went over there. He's probably at a cabaret club in Magura right now. Pouring some ponzo on that rake of chick's fat thighs. Ah. Uh... Oh, damn, dude. It's Jin Furway, no doubt about it. He was like an advisor who represented the young talent. I saw him a lot on the news online. This is so strange. Why just his right half? I'm gonna believe what um, Iris said. He went through a parallel world and got stuck. Hey, what's going on with you? Memory problems? Brain disorder or something? You look like you're losing it a little. No. It's nothing. Boss was invited here by Ma, a host from Kabuki Show. Ma told her, let's go on this online show together. It looks so fun. But immediately after she showed up, she was sent a Nile message that read, sorry, something came up. So in other words, he flaked on her. Boss tried to go home, but the show's staff stopped her and begged her to find a replacement. So she called up her obedient underling, huh? How convenient. Yeah, you remember now? Remember? You never told me anything about this Ma guy. Ah, so Tama told you. After I asked her not to. Mm. So who's in charge mm. of this case? Well, there's no one else available, so would you mind taking care of it? What? Me? I know this case could get dangerous. It might be too hot to assign to a rookie. But then again, you have a reliable partner with you. Mm-hmm. I'll give you hands-on assistance for this investigation. You better stop. You better stop. Don't make any promises you can't keep. Frey to free? Frey can mean battle, tatter, ravel, or strain. Free is self-explanatory. To set free or release. So the phrase could mean something like fight to set free. Hmm. What's with that QR code? The thing is, there seems to be an error in the Abyss communication system. We're having issues getting online. What? Come on. What? You got a problem with that? Hey, calmate. No, not at all. Damn, bro. Hello. Minecraft Steve. Damn, I wish Date was here to see um this Tama character. He's gonna be like, whoa, big breasts. Whoa. The estimated time of death was about 40 hours ago. Today is February 10th. Current time 2200, which means he died around 6 o'clock February 9th. 
yesterday morning. There's hardly any blood left in his body. His body must have been left with his legs slightly raised and the cut side facing the ground. Blood naturally flowed out as a result, leaving the cut surprisingly clean and visible. The cut appears to have been made by something far thinner than paper. Thinner than paper? For example, something with zero thickness, like a 2D surface. There's no such... What's more is that it doesn't seem like the connections between molecules were severed. Hmm? The structure of the molecules themselves have been cut. That's weird. That's some space-time shit. Um, so this is going to be a little hard to understand, so feel free to skip this if you'd like. Among scientific bonds, there are intermolecular bond, which uses electrons to bond and the intermolecular bond which is bonding of molecules themselves. Intermolecular bonds are stronger than... What? Intermolecular bonds are stronger than intermolecular bonds, so when something is cut in half, it usually... is usually the intermolecular bond that is severed. However, his body was severed at an intermolecular bond level. That is for the... Okay, that is it for the science part. Please continue to enjoy the main story. Oh. Oh. My brain. Intermolecular bullshit. It's a kettle. Long table. Hmm. Hmm. Heavy door. Nothing with these guys. Nothing with them. Nothing with the code. Who the fuck do I talk to now? Minecraft Steve? The podium. You said the head? Oh yeah, I keep forgetting to look at the head. The identity of the deceased has been confirmed through facial recognition. Jen Furaway, 29 years old. The CEO of Music Food Co. LTD. He's also an executive at several IT firms. Consultation companies, investment firms, and advertising agencies. Is this motherfucker related to Lemniscate? His columns and essays are featured in various magazines and online media. He's quite a successful author. Wait. What is it? This might not be related to the case, but I just thought of something. Ryuki, would you mind moving closer to the body? What? Is there something in his eye? He's missing one of his back teeth. Yes, the first molar of his upper jaw was completely removed from its root. Judging by the impression left in the gums, it looks like it was removed just recently. How? What the fuck am I gonna do with that information? By the way, Ryuki, there's something about the corpse's head that's been bothering me. It's hard to see it from here, so here's the image I took earlier. What's this? Well, the fucking back of his head got ya yeeted. It's an enlarged picture of Jim's temporal region near the back of his head. It's hard to see because of the hair in the way, but there are signs of traumatic subcutaneous hematoma. I have no idea what the fuck you just said. In other words, there's bruising. Okay. I think he got hit with a blunt object. Ya yeet? Someone hit him from behind? Hey, yo. Probably. But I don't think this is a fatal wound. There's no damage to the skull or brain itself. And as you can clearly see, his cause of death was being split in half. Cause of death split in half? Right. There are no other visible wounds besides the head trauma. He must have been cut in two while he was alive.
Ryuki, I've got a connection. The QR code link. It leads to a ViewCube page. ViewCube? ViewCube? You mean... Yes, the video streaming site. MF got sliced with a super sharp Mr. Game & Watch. Super sharp Mr. Game & Watch? Mr. Game & Watch holding number 9. Whose account does the channel belong to? No idea. It was registered using an alias. Okay. Open it. What? I'm sorry. Can you please open it? That's better. Yo, she is not one to be fucked with. I would have been like, you better open it, bitch, you in my eye. wrong Ryuki Tam I'm I'm just confused Yo 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 I got fucking hacked by the Nizet laws bro What in the name of Doki Doki Literature Club Translate that shit. Hey, um, are you okay? <laughs> this motherfucker off the zoot pack. Yeah, I'm fine. Bro, Ryuki, if you're not fucking fine, say something, bro. Don't worry about me. Motherfucker blew up? But we, well, we x rayed him. How the fuck did he blow up? There were no explosives in him. Yo, Kagami almost blew up. Alright, chat, I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm not gonna look at it. I'll, I'm gonna look down so I don't get spoiled, okay? I'm looking down. I'm looking down at my phone. Nice. I, I, I look down. I didn't see the intro. I actually did look down, so... I only saw a little bit of the beginning, and I looked away. Oh, we're back here. Oh, it's Brahmin. Yo, this is where we got shot at by the by the goons. You are familiar with it? Yup. Yeah, I've been here a bunch of times. Ryuki is supposed to be here? I'm certain of it. Okay, let's go in. 
All right, where mama at? Where mama at? My mouth already drooling just thinking about mama. Where's mama? Where's mama? Come on, man. Stop the anticipation. I want to see her. Yo, how many beers is he? Yo, the music. Yo, you know that they make the best curry in this bitch. Oh, the music is so good here. I like it. It's a picture of Ganesha, the Hindu god. That's why you guys kept talking to me about Persona. Is this guy... That guy's not the blue elephant? From Persona? He is? The blue elephant that slaps his stomach? The one that kept on using that annoying ass fucking AOE physical move? Ganesha is worshipped as the god of wealth, especially by merchants. Fucking Ganesha, man. Ooh, oil drum. A house plan. This place is really pretty. I like the lights. A table. A round stool. Come on, Ryuki. Wake up. My man is buzzed. Hey, I said wake up. OBS, please. Oh, look, a porno mag. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to work on Ryuki. Limited edition is not gonna work. I suspect Date would have woken up instantly. Hell yeah, Date would have woke up on a dime. Come on, big brother. Wake up. Wake up. What in the name of Onichan? Come on, big brother. Wake up. Wake up. Yo, get this Ohio Onichan bullshit. If you don't hurry, you're gonna be late. <sighs> He's awake? Why did that work? Nurse, pour some soy sauce on me, please. What? Right down the middle. <laughs> They're gone. Where to? I don't know. Maybe to the mirror world? What? Genny. Being this man, full name, Gen Ishiagane. Who the fuck is this? I met him several times in the past when I was in Date's left eye socket. Nah, this guy is a fucking no. Yeah, Genny is the owner of this fusion restaurant, Brahmin. He's the owner? He runs it all by himself without hiring any help. He better not be behind me, I'm scared now. Where could he be? It's not like him to leave his customers like this. Oh my god, I'm scared. Jin Furoe's other half was found. The other side of his corpse. The one we couldn't find six years ago. The time of his death was around 12 o'clock today. What do you think that means? Answer me, Ryuki! Come on, bro. You were in charge of the HB case, weren't you? <sighs> Make it a side part, please. Ugh. Just what kind of dream is he having? How should I know? Should we try wink sinking? Oh no. Forget it. It'd just be a waste of battery. Ryuki, please. 
Call me about six years ago. I want to know all about what happened back then. The HB case and the explosion are related. If I can solve the HB case, maybe I can figure out where he is. I'll take a double shochu curry shot. This is futile, Mizuki. Ryuki's blood alcohol level is 0.32%. Oh, he, he gone, gone. He's intoxicated. <sighs> In fairness, the reason he's like this now is because of that incident. He had psychological issues before, but the events of the case deepened his condition. As you can see, he now spends his days drowning himself in alcohol. So if we solve this case, we might be able to heal his trauma? It's possible. Then it's all the more reason for him to help. For his own sake, too. Still, I doubt he would wake up even if you cut his eyelids off. What will you do? Isn't it obvious? I'll sink with him. How are you feeling right now? I feel happy. I'm happy to eat. Whoa, that's a fucking wizard! Damn, so we're just gonna straight take him and sink him? We're just kidnapping him at this point. Is Pewter there? Pewter, you sexy beast. How you been, bro? Wait, you didn't see her at the stadium? I did, but she's not back yet? Of course not. This is boss we're talking about. She's probably at a host club in Kabukicho, licking the salt off her third tequila shot right about now. Futa. Everyone calls him Pewter. I'm just gonna call you Pewter. I know. I got the report. Jin Furaway's right half was found in Studio Divitas six years ago. The other half was found at the stadium today, correct? The corpse's estimated time of death was around 12 today. No signs of the body having been frozen. And Jin doesn't have any twins. The theory of the right and left half belonging to different people was debunked earlier, too. What do you mean? We got the DNA results. The DNA extracted from Jin's right half six years ago. The base sequence was an exact match with the left half that was found. A 100% match. They definitely belong to the same person. The right half was found six years ago on February 10th. Those days are important. Today is also February 10th. Six years apart, same day. Six years apart, same day. What could it mean? Mizuki, do you really intend to sync with him? Would it be a problem because he's drunk or something? No, but what I mean is, you haven't gotten permission from boss, have you? I understand how you feel, Mizuki. I'm sure you want to solve the HB case more than anyone. After all, you lost two very precious things due to that incident. Date, of course, and... She lost her eye? Luaiba. Your left eye. At least we didn't have to extract your eye to insert the AI ball. There was nothing left to extract. Damn. I am glad the room was vacant. I don't do well with roommates.
Listen, you shouldn't delve too deeply into this case. I have a very bad feeling about all this. Don't worry. Boss didn't technically give me permission to sink, but she did assign the investigation to me. True. Are you sure about this? Yeah. There will be no turning back. I know. I see. Then let's get started. All right, let's what go. What happened six years ago? Ryuki's memories may hold the answer. Aw, oh, shit. All right, let's go into... What's this man's name? Ryuki? We gotta put the planchas in our face now? Oh, the machine has been updated. Oh, no, it's the same fucking plancha. Mizuki, the time limit with Insomnium is six minutes. Stay there any longer, and your consciousness will be absorbed into the subject's mind. I got it. This isn't my first time sinking, you know. Okay, then. Let's begin. Okay. How long again? Obviously, it's six minutes. practicing how's my dancing yo i don't know why when she sung it there she definitely sounded like on takamaki from persona 5 oh. thank you for the bits yeah looking good wriggling around like a freshly caught shrimp <laughs> no not you two i'm too cute to be a shrimp Hey, listen. Now's no time for a dance number. We have an investigation to handle. Ah, oh, yes. My apologies. I felt compelled. The fuck? Oh, Mizuki. Do you know your way around Somnia? If you are assigned to this case, you will be sinking many times, I'm sure. Would you like a refresher? I don't think I need to watch a refresher. I think I'm fine. I'm gonna hit no. Nah, it's fine. I've synced plenty of times already. Well, if you do run into any issues, you can always check the manual. The manual explains sinks and somnia comprehensively. And before he needs help? Mm, I swear, bro. Got it. Thanks. All right. This desk and camera are from the interrogation room. But there's no walls or ceiling. Well, before anything... Somnium scan! Activate! layer of Ryuki's Somnium appears to have three mental locks. So I gotta unlock those, right? Correct. By doing so, you can travel deeper into his psyche. The truth is found in the deepest layer. Okay, I'll start with this room first. Right. There isn't much to interact with, but there must be a way to continue. Okay. That's cool that they put everything that's interactable Where's the time? A folding chair. Same as the kind in the interrogation room. Let's sit on it. Try sitting on it. There. Oh, 
What? Ryuki! Mizuki, now is your chance to question him. There's two paths that split off here. Slap him away. Mizuki, you cannot get away with this just because you're a member of law enforcement. According to Criminal Law Entry 195, Special Civil Assault, you can be punished for abuse of authority. Chill, we're in a dream. It's fine. Hmm. Well, at this rate, we won't get anything out of him. Wake up! <laughs> <sighs> fine. Yo! Guess I'll just do what has to be done. <coughs> Iva, that's enough. You're violating criminal law. Yo. Yo, he is done. Oh my god, bro. Ryuki, can you tell me what He is you not know waking up HB now. Case? <laughs> With the handprint still in his face. Me remember. Damn it. Damn it. I was so close to finally forgetting. Please. Oh my god, this dude is traumatized. Uh, Iva, you okay? Yeah, it just got really bright. What was that explosion? That blue thing. Is it an eyeball? Is that how he also lost his eye, per se? Ryuki, do you know the culprit? Do you? What is this? Wait, it's a reverse sink. Reverse sink? What? You could reverse sink? Ryuki's consciousness is flowing into your brain, Mizuki. Bro, what? This is where we used to live. Oh my god. Huh? This is... I'm hard. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. something cold oh my goodness mr. Date's house 20 eyeballs gained bro she got no oh my god with the ass she got no excuse oh my goodness this was the selling point of the game bro you gonna give us a tan skin waifu with a dump truck thick legs and freaking big ass opie and you gave her the goddamn beauty mark on the lip i peeped the beauty mark fuck and a jojo hat is she a floater oh i thought she was floating oh my god i was about to be like for the love of god what is this you gonna have her with a thick with her thick 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 chocolate ass. Oh my god, bro. Like y'all bugging. Okay, what is this soup? Thank God I just two of this because I wouldn't be able to after seeing that straw and hego. Jesus. Do you know the culprit? I the culprit. The culprit's name. Who was in my head? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Intrusion thwarted. 
Wait, what the fuck is going on? We're going back and forth between each other's shit? We've defended against Ryuki's consciousness. So is everything okay? It should be. But it is peculiar. Usually, the sinker goes into the subject's mind. But for some reason, the subject's consciousness was able to slip into your mind. But you should be fine now. We have blocked the root of intrusion. We are reconnecting to Ryuki's mind via another path. That's good. But why did that happen? This is definitely very confusing now. Huh? Oh, look! The little eyeball, eyeball on the chair. We got our first unlockable. I gotta make sure I pay attention to those. What the fuck? Where are we? Oh, who's that man over there? Can't remember the names. Okay, so I chose the route where I cannot remember the name. So now we picked a completely route. This place is... It's the cathedral. Cathedral? Oh, so this is what you were talking about. When did we go to a church? Hey, is that rubble? It appears as though the collapse was halted halfway through. Oh, that's oh, him. Oh, it's Ryuki. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dude is zut zutting. Let's go. Get the eyeball on the Wait, chair. Mizuki. You can only remain insomnia for six minutes, 360 seconds. For some reason or another, the passage of time in the interrogation room was slower, but that is not the case now. You need me to find the info within six minutes, right? I got it. While I remain still, time almost stops, but time progresses when I am in motion. That's the system that Pewter came up with, right? I swear that Pewter is like a tech god. Thank you, Xcon. <laughs> That's an interesting way to compliment someone. <laughs> anyway, if you are stuck, simply stop moving and observe your surroundings. Okay. Look at the map and try to get a hold of the situation. Understood? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for the reminder. Go ahead and check that don't display this message again box. Damn. I don't have that function. Okay, let's get the eyeball on the chair. 30 eyeballs gained. Oh? Oh? A hundred eyeballs gained. Just making sure. Okay. What's this? Oh, not the lay. Oh my god. Am I gonna go now to his? Oh, we're surrounded. The rubble Whose turned hand? into a hand. Ryuki's dream sure is creepy. Darn. We cannot get through. We need to find a way out of here. You said, for your information, there are five eye- There's five eyeballs in each level now? Oh, fuck. A brazier. I can interact with this for whatever reason. Breathe out. It is not getting bigger or smaller. Blowing on it didn't make it waver either. Is this fire real? Ryuki's dream is trapped by shadows. The shadows are... Mizuki, I have obtained a key. What's that? A key is a new function that Pewter came up with. It uses an algorithm to clarify the rules of a Somnium world or the sync subject psyche. In other words, it tells you how the dream works? Correct. Damn, we can do that now? Pewter's legit. The sync system has evolved greatly. The key can help with unlocking mental locks and better understanding the subject. By searching more, the key will be updated and information accumulated. So the more I search, the more hints I get. He 
enemies are crucial to reach the depths of some. Okay. Okay. The shadows are. It's a torch. It's on fire. What the fuck? Do I breathe that out? Oh, fuck. Wow. I could do well as a street performer. That looks fun. I'm gonna try that at home. Chill. Please don't. I'm kidding. Blowing it out won't work. Hey, yo. Ryuki's dream is trapped by the shadows. The shadows are always missing a single aspect. It's a torch. Breathe, Breathe in? Breathe in what? The torch, duh. What do you mean, duh? That wasn't an obvious answer. I want you to extinguish it by sucking in with your nose. Hey, yo. I have never heard of such a thing. You'll never know till you try. Fine. I had a feeling that wouldn't work. Five eyeballs gained. What should I do if an old guy attacks me? <laughs> Crush throat. You said why retro? Bro, if an old person attacks me, I, I don't I don't care, bro. It's on sight. Crushing throat. A brazier. It looks like a normal brazier. Touch it. No. Please, come on. Just the tip, please. Okay then. Hot o or not? So it's fire that's not hot? This fire must have shadow traits. Shadow traits? Different properties from the real world. For example, consider fire that is not hot. It is as though it is missing a property that it has in the real world. These shadows are usually heavily affected by the nature of dreams. So we might not extinguish this fire in the usual predictable fashion. Mizuki, you have five minutes left. I'm so confused, bro. And I can't fucking leave. It's a torch. It's a normal torch. I can feel the heat of the fire. There is nothing different. Oh, I see. Oh my god, OBS, stop fucking glitching, please. So what the fuck a do razor. I do? Breathe. Okay, I could breathe this in? If this brazier is a shadow, we can't extinguish it in the normal way. Let's try something that doesn't normally extinguish fires. All right, suck in really hard. Hey, yo. I do have amazing suction. <sighs> yo, she is sucking! Damn! Amazing suction! Bravo! Marvelous! Huh? Deja vu? Looks like the shadow traits were the key after all. What? Yo, that suction was nutty. Hmm. That rubble there. Is that lower than before? Do we have another time limit? If we do, we cannot be wasting time. Alright. Let's chase after Ryuki. If you get lost, use the map. Yeah, I know. Is there an eyeball? I don't see an eyeball. I'm wasting time. Hey, Ryuki. It's not my fault. Please forgive me. Damn it! Fuck. We're trapped in this space again. Yo, does the other one have a blicky? 
But if we get rid of something with the shadow trait, maybe we can get out. This is so fucking confusing. Ryuki is blank. He's still holding on to blank and you blank. You have four minutes remaining. Ryuki is... Ry okay, he's it's a drunk. Bottle of brandy. He's drunk. And we got some Timmies in here. Fuck. Hold on. Hmm. Is this Ryuki's favorite drink? Yes. I've seen Ryuki drink this brand before. Ryuki was drinking right before the sink, which is probably why it showed up in his dream. He's just a drunkard. I do think Ryuki has a reliance on alcohol. Though it is all mental, it is not easy to overcome such an addiction. You don't have to sympathize with him, but you should at least understand. I see. Oh, yay! I got a timey! It's called a timey? I've been calling the fucking shit a timmy since, like, the beginning of time. You know what a timey is, don't you? Um, it's like a... For the most part, timey is I know exactly is what it is. You don't gotta this. tell me. I invented it! Thank you, Pewter. You go, Pewter. Thank you. You cannot hold on to too many at a time. I know. I know, baby girl, I know. I know exactly what the fuck a timey is, or a timmy. An evolver is floating. Shoot yourself? A? It's an Evolver. Standard issue for Abyss members. Is it Ryuki's? Unless there is a special request. All members are issued the same firearm, so we cannot tell. But there is one thing I notice. What is it? I do not feel any electromagnetic forces. The Evolver utilizes electromagnetism, so it should be emitting electromagnetic waves. Oh, maybe it's one of those Shadow Trait things. Perhaps. Shadow Trait. All right, so now we can use the Timmy it's Turner Brandy. on this. Why the fuck the music got so scary? Damn. Let's drink it. <laughs> if you say so. Oh. Wow, that's how you're gonna drink it? Woo! Oh, I'm feeling good. <laughs> It's me, Aiba. You okay? Mizuki! <gasps> Can you pet me? Pet you? Pet me! Pet me till I explode! Aiba's bugging out. <laughs> Mizuki with the fucking slang. She bugging the fuck out. If you don't pet me, I'm going to self-destruct. Okay, three, two, one. Look at her Kool-Aid smile. Iba, you're scaring me. Get a hold of yourself. Uh, my head hurts. Oh, stop yelling. Jeez, I should have never told you to do that. Ryuki is drunk. He's still holding on to his regrets. It's Brandy. Puke. Why do you want me to puke? I thought it might help you remember when Ryuki puked. Uh, I can try. Oh. So, anything? No, though I am starting to taste something sour. I have a you can taste sour? Anyway, this is pointless. I do not want to keep trying. Okay, that's what I was trying to unlock. Ryuki is burdened by what happened in the past. Is that what puking... What? And he's still holding on to this. Okay. It's an evolver. And... <laughs> I I'm not gonna lie, bro. I kind of want to hit shoot myself, but I kind of don't at the same time. So, let's hit shoot Ryuki shoot ota you said persona three time all right chat i'm gonna hit you with the persona three because which method do you want to try inside the mouth below the chin or on the temple damn you just with the shits like you didn't even question it like like what are you doing uh you don't have any second thoughts about this i do 
But my job is to support you, Mizuki. Oh my goodness. Above all else, I believe in and obey your orders. Oh my goodness. Uh, I see. Thanks. In that case, can you ignore my last command? What the? The game is done. Aiba! Aiba! Uh, it was a blank. My ears are ringing. <sighs> Jeez. Your nose and ears have been through a lot today, huh? I have other holes. I'll be fine. What were you planning on using the other holes for? <laughs> it appears obeying your command was the right thing to do. Good job, Mizuki. Oh, uh, yeah. Glad it worked. Your dick's small. <sighs> he was about to kill himself? Ryuki! <sighs> Are you telling me she Damn was it. getting fucked in the ear and nostril? I don't know. It's no use. I don't know, Sora. Thank you for the hundred bits, man. Is it gonna fix anything? Yo, this nuke. Are these feet? I mean, those are some nice toes. I can't die yet. I'll carry this forever. Get Ryuki. Let's chase after Ryuki. Three minutes left. You can do this. Bitch, are those stairs? This again. But now we know what to do. We need to find the thing with shadow traits and break it, right? Yes, most likely. But it looks like we can only interact with Ryuki. The fuck is wrong with this man? What the fuck? Hey, Ryuki. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. I'm really sorry. I have to live with this for the rest of my life. What happened to you, bruh? Inspect him? I guess I could try to cheer him up. Ryuki, I do not fully understand your situation, but you cannot be so hard on yourself. Think of all the people even stupider than you. <laughs> Some stupid morons cry when an elementary school kid burns their porno mags and get so upset they take a whole week off work without pay. Date did that? But even those people have friends. If you can't take on the burden by yourself, rely on others. He ignored me. That hurts me more than him. Maybe he doesn't need to be cheered up. I'm sorry. All right, motherfucker, time to kick your bitch ass. Stop, stop being fucking depressed, bitch. There could be negative consequences. It's fine, just kick his ass. True. That sounds awfully violent. I'll try it. Oh! Ow. That looked painful. <coughs> he disappeared. But nothing happened. Yeah, nothing's changing. What a waste of a good kick. We should inspect the other Ryukis. Five eyeballs gained. Ryuki. I did nothing wrong. I forgot it all. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my days. <laughs> oh, nah, he's, he's a little crazy. Um... I'm a kick him. Good timing. I was getting annoyed. Oh, you seem enthusiastic about this. Get a hold of yourself. Uh, huh? Didn't connect. 
Izuki, you have less than two minutes left. Oh. Be careful. <laughs> Nothing. Um. Agree? Oh. This Ryuki doesn't have a shadow. And something's weird about how positive he is. That must be the shadow trait. So we should do the opposite of what he wants. Yes, the don't encourage the psychotic breakdown plan. Ota would probably love the praise, but oh, this so is don't mention him. the honor student we're talking about. Nah, here. don't mention him. Ryuki, you're doing well. Just forget it all. You did nothing wrong. No one's going to resent you. Boss and everyone else accepts you. Just rest. Take some time off. Enjoy yourself. N no, that's not... Stop! It's all my fault! Which is why I needed to do something. Okay. All right, our plan works. All right, good, 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 good. No, 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 no! No forgiveness, no mercy, never! Yo, chat, tell me what anime character does this, does this guy voice act? Because I swear to God, every time I hear this guy talk, he sounds just like an anime character. He sounds like the yellow-haired guy in Mob Psycho. The one who does the shit with his legs where it goes inward and he goes like this to use the psychic powers. Kira from Death Note? Oh! Kira from Death Note? On God? This ain't Kira? Okay. Never! Just, like, hearing him in distress, he sounds like an anime character. My man just straight up tactical nuke incoming. Oh my god, I'm running out of time. The fire. There's no going back. What is Ryuki holding on to that's hurting him like this? Where the eyeballs at? Are there any eyeballs? I'm wasting time. Where the eyeballs? Pick up. Is that a cop badge? Hey, this police ID is. What? Bad end. I'm sorry. I didn't think this would happen. You're gonna solve everything. Everything. <gasps> Flood. Flood. Let's get out of here, Mizuki. <laughs> Dropped rubble explosions. Jesus Christ, you just hit like I felt like I got a five star unit in a gotcha game. Determination. Bro, am I playing the right game? I could have sworn this was AI, not, um, freaking Undertale.
Wait. Why am I in his head? Am I gonna talk? Alright, I got a question to ask you before anything. Where he told me? Where is he told me? Hello. It's the middle of the night. I want alcohol. I'm not leaving until you give me answers. So quit messing around. You probably weren't listening to me at Brahmin, so I'll say it again. No need. Tama told me earlier. Jin Furue's other half was found, but the body was alive until noon today. You wanna know how? It's simple. Jin's left half flew here. It flew through time from the world six years ago. That's the only logical explanation, to be honest. What are you talking about? Ryuki, I looked inside your mind. I know. You synced with me, didn't you? Who was that person? That person? The person who was reaching out to you at the end of the Somnium. Tell me. Something happened six years ago that I don't know about. What was it? You really want to know? Yeah. You could be putting yourself in danger. Oh. I'm not afraid. Fine. Then I'll tell you. But I'm sure there's no need to explain what happened on February 10th, six years ago. Yeah, I was there, at the studio. Alright, then I'll start from the part you don't know about. The day after the incident. February 11th. Hmm. And what happened in the 11th? Wait a minute, is this taking a persona route? Are we now in the interrogation room and we're just gonna be in backlog or memory lane? Is this a... <laughs> I know this is not happening right now, right? Am I playing Persona? They copy Persona 4. Yo, boss. What was that between her titties? Yo, my What's man! Up, Mr. Date. What's an effective way of training? Um, bench pressing. I do with the eyeballs no 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 that RC goes pretty fast oh how fast does it go three million kilometers per second you're a fucking liar the universe would collapse if that were true did you know this doll can talk for you Really? He's my childhood friend. Really? What? What are you talking about? It's me, Mario. Nice to meet you. He talks? Mario. Fucking Mario, dude. When I see that ball, it reminds me of my boyfriend from high school. Yeah, you seem like the type who'd be into that. A soccer ball. A volleyball. The shogi piece. It's a new... Reminds me of you, boss. Which part? I remember her saying some factoids about tanukis that got spread around. That's probably what Date was talking about. Yo, Dante bugging the fuck out for that. I'm a sucker for anything shiny. Oh. What about cockroaches, boss? Oh, shiny. you ruined it. Okay, I'm reducing your salary. Oh. 
fucking fruit fly. Rug. I found out what that rug actually costs, by the way. Something like 500 million yen. That's true. I confiscated it from a thief. Are you allowed to do that? Sell that shit. Sell that shit and then retire. It's a prototype version of an AI ball. is increasing don't tell me you are imagining a woman's bathhouse aren't you fantasizing about the shiny faucets yeah why would that part be my fantasy yeah you want to hear some juicy gossip i heard they got transferred to lemniscate no the boy bands is going to lemniscate okay uh-huh good for them hey i'm your superior you know you should all at least pretend you're interested. The boy band poster. A chair. Uh, I haven't been on a board in a while. I wish I could go. I think you've fallen your ass plenty already. It's a snowboard. I heard that's boss's grandfather. Don't fill his head with nonsense. That's not my grandfather. That's my grandfather's death mask. Not any less weird. Death mask? Sorry to hear me. I him. remember Mr. Dante telling me, you like to hit that thing when you're feeling stressed out, right, boss? Oh, no, I wouldn't do something so brutish. I just throw it against the wall. That's even worse. Hey. How long are you going to keep that here? <sighs> Until I get a new boyfriend. And it's gonna stay there forever. Damn. Date, I'm assigning you to Venezuela. Damn. Good luck. There's so many things I gotta press. What's wrong? You've been staring. Oh, it's nothing. shit in this office there shouldn't be this much shit here the key maybe this case is like a matryoshka doll that sounds deep but i don't think that has anything to do with this case missing what am I missing oh my god the door this is the worst part is trying to find out what you're missing You said probably plus all the things that's blacked out. Where? Mash X? Just mash X. I don't want to. Oh, posters. Oh my gosh. I must have missed something here. The phone, boss. The computer, boss. 
the red curtain. Do I have to hit everything twice? All right, hold on. I think I just missed something here. The pole. <sighs> I'd like to smack your butt with that broom. Oh, yeah. Why? Something behind the chair. There's so much shit. I just gotta pray to God something pops up green. Um, skis, snowboarding, the symbol. Oh my God, the triangular ruler. Hmm, wooden ponies are my favorites. Wooden ponies are my favorite. Yeah. My god, it's so hard to do all that. It hasn't even been half a day. No new info for you yet. Jin's left half hasn't been found yet either. Why did his right half burst into flames like that? We're still looking into it, but I was told they haven't recovered any mechanical or electrical pieces. So, it wasn't a time bomb. Do you think it could have been spontaneous combustion? Who knows? Was it maybe... I don't know. I'm trying to think and I can't. Yeah, the entire country's been talking about it all day. Not just Japan, but the whole world. A body sliced in half suddenly appeared in the middle of a broadcast. And it explodes. And then there was that weird QR code, too. I'd be surprised if it didn't go viral. But how strange. There was a blackout before the corpse appeared, right? So why didn't the stream get cut off? What? You went to a host club in Kabukicho after the investigation, didn't you? Who would do such a thing? I mean, you usually do that. I went straight home last night. I can't be out drinking every night. My kid would never let me hear the end of it. My kid? I'm sorry, your kid? Yeah, my little girl. At least, I think she's a little girl. I didn't spot any dangly bits, so unless she says otherwise. I had no idea you had a daughter, boss. You want another one? Neither did I. I didn't know either. Why'd you keep that a secret all this time? It wasn't a secret. No one asked. The dick small. She's known as an AI ball bro. Even her freaking AI form has titties. Show me the news. That's not how you ask for a favor, is it? I beg of you, Lady Tama. Yo, you gotta talk to the eye like this? My queen, please send me. Mm, how about this? What the fuck? Exchange information of Tama's out of my eye socket. Wait, I Tama. said news, not nudes. <laughs> Nah, I'd be like, you better show me them tits. Wanna see it again? No. Fuck. No. Thank you. What is it, Ryuki? The QR code on that sign was shown during the live stream, too. Yeah, quite clearly. That means it was seen by people around the world. They say the ViewCube video and the link got several million views. The account is already deleted, but you know how it is. People uploaded copies to other sites almost immediately. That means the True. actual number of people who saw it is several times greater. Anything strange happened since? What do you mean? Maybe a bunch of people being sent to the hospital after seeing the video or something. Like the ring. No, I haven't heard any reports like that so far. I see. Like I said, the uploader of the original video is unknown. What are you looking at? I see a stupid looking man's face. Like this. Don't worry, I'm fine. You're trying to convince yourself, aren't you? Poor Ryuki. You know what's crazy? I just realized that the eyeball is in between boss's titties. So when that eyeball gotta go right back into my eye socket, it's literally gonna have boss's titty. 
smell on my eye. How are you? It's all right now because I am here. Half might. Half for all. We are full time heroes. Ryuki? You feeling okay? Maybe we should have a doctor take a look at you. Yeah, I'll try. You'll try? What the hell is that? Why don't you say it like you mean it, asshole? Damn! It's your duty to solve this case. This is why you're here, isn't it? I got it, Tama. You can close it. Nice and soft. It feels kind of soothing, being here. Anything to promote office wellness. What are you talking about? Well then, you won't mind if I join you. Dati. Man for the people. I'm kidding. What are you looking at, Ryuki? I'm looking at my eye. I was just looking at the round... Uh, the round... Pervert. I am not a pervert. You literally got my eyeball on your titty. No, no, no. That's not what I meant. You can touch him if you want to. <laughs> I can't, bro. <laughs> no, you absolutely cannot. Hmm? Is there something on my face? Well, um, the face you have now isn't your real face, is it? You got your old body back during the new Cyclops serial killings case, so... Oh. Yeah. Yeah, well, I decided to have a custom mask made. Really? Everyone knows me by this face. Really? Besides, this one is, uh, more popular with the ladies. Wait, I'm so fucking confused. I don't think it makes much of a difference. Shut up! I saw the news last night. Wait, by the way, Jin didn't... Wait, hold on. Didn't have a silicone mask on. I know because I x-rayed it. I talked to Boss earlier too, so I know the gist of what's going on. A corpse suddenly appeared in the middle of a live stream, right? For some reason, just the right half. Like it traveled through time and space. Okay, I bought your eye patch. <laughs> it's cool, doesn't it? You look like a pirate. I'm wearing the patch because Iva ran away from home. That's not the whole story, though, is it, Dante? You tried to watch a VR video of bikini girls splitting watermelons at the beach. I can't do this anymore. I am done being your partner. Oh my god, no way that's how we broke up. So Iba leapt out of Dante's eye socket and ended up at my place. No. So she's at your house right now? No, she's working on a top secret mission. What mission? If I told you, it wouldn't be top secret. Any advice on the investigation? Advice? I only give advice when I'm drinking. Shall we? Let's go. It's not even noon yet. Who cares? I'm on vacation. Well, I'm not. Come on. My treat, as usual. All right, let's go. I've seen Mr. Dante drunk several times before, but not once have I seen him open up his wallet. No, I'll just handle this myself. Yeah, true. Fuck that. If he's not actually going to treat you, do not go. What? Drink with me. Nah. There's a real cozy bar in Omiya I know about. I think you'll like it. All the bartenders are sexy women, aren't they? How did you know? But what's so bad about it? And why Omiya of all places? You don't know? Saitama is hot right now. It's warm at this time of year? That's not what I meant. Saitama is a... Uh... Province located north of Tokyo with a population of wow, seven million. For 
bullet trains and arenas where even Johnny's groups perform. There are tons of stores, Dante might like. Uh, it's a really fashionable city. All right. I thought you were on vacation. Yeah, new labor laws. I'm supposed to be on break. Then why are you here? Well, why not? I was bored, so I thought I'd come play darts. This is supposed to be a place of business. Could you not play around in here? What? This room is full of things to play with. True. Okay, then. Tama and I will continue the investigation. Oh, wait. Before you go, there's one thing I want you to be careful about. Abyss is having issues with the communication network right now. Any data obtained by your AI ball can't be uploaded to the cloud. Yeah, I can't do any backups right now. I can only save data inside my body's storage. So we'll be in big trouble if you break. Yes, any data saved from today on will be lost. Understood. We'll be careful. So, where do you plan on going first? I thought we'd start by asking around for more info. I haven't been able to talk to the people who are at the scene much yet. Mizuki, Iris, Moma, Chenpei, and Andy's Komeiji, the host. Do you have their locations? Yes, I've obtained each of their locations through the GPS on their smartphones. First, Mizuki is at a place called Matsushita Diner. Ota's place. Iris seems to be on the campus no. of Sekiba High. Makes sense. She's a student there, after all. Moma and Chinpei are at the Kumakura office. Right. The Dragon and Lantern's place. And finally, Kameiji. He seems to be on the rooftop amusement park at Misaton. Misaton? That department store in Shinjuku? Do you want to ride along for the investigation, Mr. Date? <laughs> I'm not gonna work on my day off. I'm not that bored. Mm. Bored enough to come here? There are many types of boredom. This is different. Well, Ryuki, I'm counting on you. Right. Leave it to me. Tama, you take care of Ryuki, okay? Always. All right, chat. Give me one second. I'm gonna go get myself a drink real quick, okay? Un segundito. Ooh.
my bad, chat. Oh. You said, uh, about 12 minutes. My bad, my bad. Jesus Christ, bro. No, I had to take a phone call. It's like 2 a.m. Somebody hit me up and they wanted to talk to me about something real quick. I'm sorry. Somebody wanted to talk to me about something. So I was like, fuck it. Let me, let me talk to him real quick. You said he woke up? Nah, I did not go to sleep. Mind you, it's 2 o'clock in the fucking morning. I should be sleeping right now. But I'm probably going to stream the game for like an extra hour, real talk. And then, and then I'm going to... Uh, Second chat. I'm just doing something real quick. The clone is back. Nah, man, I'm gonna have to wake up early tomorrow. Go to the gym. All types of shit. Fucking grind on my ass. You said fuck sleep. We finishing AI two tonight. Login. You said we met the goal today, we're sending that shit tonight. You are bugging. your job say that now that you're done with bovid bro you know what's so annoying about this job i was supposed to start tomorrow right i hit him up like in the morning like yo did you send me the email confirmation motherfucker tells me all oh, the supervisor at the location didn't hit him up fast enough so he gonna try to see if i could get in at work on tuesday i was like yo what kind of dog and pony act fucking job is this shit bro this is fucking weird. But I'm like, hey, that's an extra day potentially of some more AI summonum files. Wait, where do I go on the map? All right, where are we going? All right, let's go to the, oh God, let's go to the diner. Oh God, oh God. You said, I never heard somebody say dog and pony. I had to say it, man. We got a new car? What the hell? We driving a limo? Alright, Matsushita Diner. There's actual people in there! Man, this sucks. I heard it talked to my jaw off yesterday. That was with the local detective, right? I haven't heard anything yet. Big Sis, perhaps you should help them? Big Sis? Big Sis. Ah, uh, that's just what I call Mizuki. Ah, and you're... My name is Kizuna. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hi, I'm from the Metropolitan Police Department. Ryuki, right? You were on that quiz show last night. Who the fuck is you? I was watching that quiz show live as well. Then, goodness, I couldn't believe it. That corpse suddenly appeared on the screen. I couldn't sleep last night from the shock of it all. I was worried about Big Sis and Iris as well. Yeah, you called me a bunch, I remember. You witnessed the corpse with your own eyes, did you not? Are you certain you're okay? I'm totally fine. Your mental fortitude is admirable. I've been through a lot is all. Are you a student at Sek um, Seki Baha'i? I am indeed. How did you know? Your uniform? Don't tell me you're a uniform buff, Ryuki. I didn't take you for a pervert. Uh, 
Yo, 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 shut your bitch ass up in the back, keep making your fucking food, or we gonna have a problem in this bitch. I'm about to burn down this whole restaurant, bro. Kizzy is good friends with Iris and Mame, too. Damn, oh my dick. Oh, you don't know about Mame, do you? Who the hell's Mame? Okay. Amame Doi is her full name. Amame Doi? She attends Sekiba High like Kizzy and Iris. Who the fuck is Kizzy? Iris and Mame belong to the same dance club as I. Dance club? Ya twerking? It was through them that I was introduced to Big Sis. You a dancer? Yes, I most certainly do. However, I am not very good at it. <laughs> I can imagine her ass hitting like whips and nay nays all fucked up. That's not true. She probably hits the wall. She probably the type that's like. I'd be like. <laughs> You've even won a dancing competition before. You said they're 12? Oh, she's 12? That was nothing more than a fluke. Bro, she, yo, the way that they do these character models be making no sense. How the fuck she 12? I thought Oto was a whole fucking child and motherfuckers like I'm 24. Then I'm like, Date looks like he's in his 30s. No, fucking 48 or some type of shit. And I'm like, Boss is a fucking badass. Like, I will split her open like a banana. No pause, all play. Boss is like 50. I'm like... Iris is a far better dancer. Nah, Iris, yeah, she she's she busting the moves. Why do you call Mizuki that? Hmm. This is a bit difficult to explain. I just sensed a certain elegance to Mizuki that was characteristic of an older sister. It is that a compliment? Tama, how old is Kizuna? 18, same as Iris. They're in their third year, so they're graduating soon. Y'all got me fucked up. All y'all got me fucked up talking about 12. All y'all got me fucked up. In other words, Mizuki is a whole six years younger than Kizuna. But she sees Mizuki as like an older sister figure. Any clues? Sorry, but I don't know anything. I just went on the show like Iris asked. And then a body showed up out of nowhere. I've heard about Jin Furue, but it's not like I knew him personally. Sorry, I can't really help. Mm. I saw Mr. Date earlier. Huh. And? I mean, Mr. Date is like your foster father, so I thought I'd let you know just in case. Foster father? I'm the one taking care of him. I'm paying the rent and utility bills too. With what money? Oh. Oh. I know of Mr. Date as well. He is quite close with Iris, so I have the honor of being on friendly terms with him as well. Shouldn't you be in school? Today is February 11th, National Foundation Day. That's a fake-ass holiday. Oh yeah, it is. So, why are you here? Why else? To eat some of Ota's cooking. I brought my friend Kizzy with me. And I appreciate your business. Why were you in the show last night? Because Iris invited her. Iris had an offer to appear on the show. Mmm, damn. That's unfortunate that Iris got into that situation. from Lemnescape, but no one could make it, so I decided to go instead. 
As the president of Lemnus Gate, I couldn't just turn it down. President? Aren't you 12? 12. <laughs> it's a long story. I ended up taking over the company after Daddy. She really ended up being the president of Lemnus Gate? So she got money money. But how the fuck does she make like orders and shit? Damn, I'm just asking straight up questions to this guy. Do you have a girlfriend? Th that came out of nowhere. Of course I have one. Psh, I ain't talking about Pamela Henderson, my guy. Show me the details. Give me the proof. You met her yesterday, right? Tessa. Tessa. A girl named Iris Sagan. Oh, okay, buddy. Oh, okay, dude. Ota, do you want me to rip your tongue out? Yo, Mizuki, do the honors, please. <laughs> oh, well, as long as we're on the subject. Are you going out with anyone, Kizzy? Oh, me? Such relations with gentlemen are completely foreign to me. Are you into baby-faced guys that know how to cook? Okay, Ota, that was a good, uh, that, that was a good, you know, slipping that in. Ugh. No shame. Oh, my type is so stereotypical that I am embarrassed to admit it. Someone like Prince Charming. Get ready to be single for the rest of your life. You know what? Um, let me actually invest in uh, cat food stocks. Give me a fucking second because that shit ain't happening. A prince? That shit ain't happening. I yearn to be a princess. T hold up. Yo, wh where's Nathan? Nathan probably sleeping, but me and him, we gonna have to um, do a couple of calls on some of this cat food stock right now. I hope my Prince Charming will appear before me with a glass slipper someday. Ooh! Ooh! City boy! City boy! That's my dream. Ooh! Glass slipper? Yo, shut your ass up, bro. Nobody was talking to you. It's your big ass Kingdom Heart boots. Look at his boots over there. My man has the the Sora Elevens. Show ass some. Mind your own business. Ota, who is that? Well, he's a customer. He comes by a lot. Um. Well, in any case. I have a great affinity for shoes. My admiration of Princess Cinderella partially comes from that, I'm sure. Oh, God. She's that one girl that watched every fucking Disney movie and grew up thinking, like, about that one knight in shining armor, true love at first sight head ass. Shut the fuck up, bro. Glass slippers. Isn't that so magical? Bro, that shit is all a fantasy, bro. That shit don't exist. You can't deny she's cute. No, she is cute. I admit, she's cute. How lovely it would be to dance in them. Hell no. What if the glass slippers break on your feet? You got straight up shards in your fucking toes? Oh, hell no. This is gonna be a bloodbath. Wouldn't it be hard to dance in glass slippers? True. That shit got no fucking foundation, no support. <laughs> that is true. Now, let me talk to this Snoopy. Your name? Pardon me, but may I ask your name? Oh, he looks so sad. He seems to be depressed. How are you? It's all right now, because I am here! Okay, I like Ryoka. I mean, Ryuki. This guy's a motherfucking My Hero Academia stan. I thought it was gonna be like a one or two, two times thing. He's doing this shit like all the time now. How are you, young boy? <clears throat> <clears throat> When the coochie tight. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's just continue. I'm sorry. Yes, he's not doing too good. Alright, excuse me. Maybe you shouldn't talk to that guy. He seems pretty drunk. He's drinking non-alcoholic beer. What do you want? Jerk. Bro, you're not even drunk. It's non-alcoholic. I was not aware you could get drunk from non-alcoholic beverages. He seems to be a regular here. All right. See something you like, Ryuki? Definitely. Look at them posters. No. I'll sell you that poster for a thousand yen. What? I could go to the bodega down the street. They give me that shit for free. No, thank you. 
Oh, where the signature's at? Oh my god, my game keeps on freezing. Fuck. Oh my god, it, it, it's freezing times 10. What the fuck? Yo, OBS is bugging out. Fucking OBS, dude. Skip frames due to encoding lag. Yo, imagine if my RAM is going bad, bro. Imagine how long does RAM last for chat? Can RAM go bad like How old is your PC? Oh man, it, it's kind of old. It's kind of old. Mr. Ryuki, there's a video of Tessa playing Mulku. Want to watch? Maybe later. Uh, what are you doing? Haven't you heard? If you meow at a lucky cat statue, happiness will come your way. I see. Look, Ryuki, a jellyfish. It's a stool. It's like it's like we dodge one thing and then we run into like five other problems. It's it's ridiculous. If you wanted to change the light bulbs or something, you can stack the cases there and stand on top of them. No, thank you. I have absolutely no desire to do so. Why would he tell her to do that? You want me to smack your bucket, Ryuki? Yes. No. Yes! Why would you say no? Spices and it says Ota's black sauce. <laughs> hey yo, yo, what now? Nah, what is Ota sauce, bro? I'm not eating nothing. Yo, Ota, how you made that sauce? Chef's choice salad. I guess it's up to luck. Hey Mizuki, isn't that your chair? Damn, Ota, you 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 asking to die. Why would you say that to her? Hey, Ota, does this place have fire insurance? I said the same thing earlier. Yo, great minds think alike. I literally told him that I was going to burn this place down, and she said... <laughs> Yo. She said, does this place have fires insurance? Bro, she doesn't give a fuck. She's going to burn this bitch down, too. I'm going to knock over all the alcohol and just light it up. All right, Ota. Man, that was crazy. I said it before, but I was watching that stream live. I heard Tessa and Mizuki were going to be on that show, right? Then that body appeared out of nowhere. Man, I couldn't believe what I saw. Speaking of crazy, that ViewCube video. You saw it. No, not the whole thing. Too scary. Yeah, it was weird. I saw the one before, though. The one before? There was one before? You don't know? I think it was about half a year ago. There was another one? A video similar to that one went viral. Everyone was talking about it Show online. Show me that video. Ah, I know of that one as well. The mysterious video known as Bats 490, correct? Yep. 
There was some kind of code hidden in it, too. According to the rumors, whoever deciphers it will learn the secret of the world. Secret of the world? Did a grade schooler come up with that or something? You're a grade schooler yourself, by the way. Bats 490, is that an actual thing? I'm gonna I'm YouTube it. Bats 490. Bats 490, or, or, or is that gonna be a spoiler? Bats 490? Should I look it up or should I not? Don't look it up, he's gonna get spoiled? Alright, I won't look it up. The video starts with a bunch of bats flying around. Yes, that's where the bats part comes from. I don't know what the 490 means, though. Were you able to decode it? No way. I had no idea what it meant. Well, it's not like solving it would have been a big deal. I'll bet that secret of the world stuff is bogus anyway. Don't ruin the fantasy, Mizuki. I'm just telling it like it is. It's just an ARG. It's a game for kids. ARG means alternate reality game. The game master releases mysterious information to the public via the internet, leaflets, posters, stuff like that. Players decode the information to discover a location or objective that moves the game forward. Simply put, an ARG is a fusion of games and real life. So wouldn't you say an ARG is technically kind of like Pokemon Go? Because in the game Pokemon Go, you kind of play... You say, yep. Hmm. The goal of an ARG varies. If someone beats it, they might get a prize. But most times it's just a prank. Oftentimes the main objective is to simply solve the mystery. Sometimes they're even used as a marketing tool. ARG are progressed by an undefined number of players working together, mainly online. Due to this, it has a high potential to spread fast. That makes it very helpful when uh, marketing content. Are you Mr. Otamatsushita? Oh, you heard of me? Nope. Did you talk to Date or something? Yeah, something like that. He's linked to the new Cyclops serial killings. Ota is 24. One year older than you, Ryuki. Yeah, that's why I'm being polite. Does anyone else work here? Nah. Ota handles the cooking, serving, and accounting all by himself. <laughs> that's right. Tama. Are there any legal issues with this? Not at all. His mother, Mayumi Matsushita, holds the proper certification for food hygiene. Mr. Matsushita, can I ask where your mother is? Probably in the living room back there. I guess she's sitting at the Kotatsu watching TV or something. I hope so. Hey, Kizzy, I want to see you dance. Bro, not with that guy in the background. Where did this come from? Oh, God, here we go. I want to see too. Oh, here we fucking go, dude. They're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. Don't you want to see too, Ryuki? Oh, uh, yeah. All right, chat. Get your Pepe dance ready. Oh, I've got to see this. Then I'll play some music. Just a sec. Wait, um, I have not agreed to anything yet. A set, you bet. Dance. Trance. Dance, trance, A set. Booty, fruity. New dance, new dance. Duck and gum on my way to the station. The crowd squeezes out my frustration. And now I'm taking heat in the classroom. Oh well, I'll eat some donuts in the bathroom. Now I hear my friend got herself a boyfriend.
I love her book bag. It's like a heart with like a, a medical cross. I like her book bag. I know your name. You're Kizuna, aren't you? Who is this man? He's gonna be like another MoMA where he's gonna be like, Ace, you bet. Nobody's gonna mess with my Tessa. I heard you introducing yourself. Here. I'm upset. My name's Lian. Lian Twining. And I'm 22 years old. 22 my fucking ass! How? You gonna tell me Date's like 40, 50? And this motherfucker 22? My father's American and my mother's Japanese. So, Kizuna. I want you to marry me. Okay, my heart feels like a jackhammer, like it's gonna burst out of my chest any second. You're joking about the marriage thing, right? Of course this isn't a joke. Kizuna's dance purified my heart. There is so much darkness building inside me, but she cleared it all away. It felt like I went straight to heaven. I've always wanted to be a pilot since I was little. It was my dream to fly through the sky. Kizuna made that dream come true for me. This dude, bro, look at the sparkles. L look at the sparkles. This man is glowing. Seeing her dance, it was like my soul pierced the heavens and flew into the stars. So, I've decided. I'm gonna marry her. Won't you marry me, Kizuna? No, thank you. Damn the rejection. <laughs> Damn. Ota, why you smirking? Yo, this motherfucker is a hater. This guy is a fucking hater, bro. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. No, thank you. Double no thank you, damn. Ota, if I see that smirk. I'll pretend I didn't hear that either. No, thank you. Triple no thank you. Anyway. I won't give up. You'll come around eventually, Kizuna. My motto is, if at first you don't succeed, try and fail again! I think you mean try, try again. Actually, I got fired yesterday. Damn. I didn't feel like doing anything after I woke up this morning. I came here so I could drink my problems away. Yo, chat, have any of y'all ever got fired? Like, have you guys ever gotten fired? Like, somebody walked up to you and they'd be like, all right, you're done. I've never gotten fired in my life. How, how does it feel to get fired? You said nah, I just quit. Yeah? Damn. So so how was it when when shit happened? Yeah. 
If you count a company going out of business, then yes. Nah, that's that's considered more of being laid off. But you were drinking non-alcoholic beer. I can still get drunk off of them, okay? What job did you get fired from? Lemniscate, I bet. I was a bank clerk. Damn, how? What were you really? I don't like talking about it, but I was a janitor. Hey, man, you gotta start out somewhere. I think that is a noble job. You're so right! But unfortunately, my job was taken from me. And I have zero motivation to do anything now. Hard work just seems so pointless. I dislike people who don't work hard. Well, now you're gonna have to work even harder. All right. I'm hitting up the employment office tomorrow. This guy has a rather one-track mind. He doesn't seem all that bad, though. True. Seems like a good person. Now, we haven't obtained much useful information. There's no point in staying here for too long. Yeah. Let's go somewhere else. You're just completely out of it. Time to skeet on Daddle. Off to Seikiba High. What are we gonna encounter? What are we going to encounter? Well, we're in school, bro. There's a persona school. Yo, who's this girl with her beautiful hair? Iris. Oh, that's the girl feeling? from the Sunfish Pocket. Still upset about last night? I'm okay. I recover pretty quick from these things. See? I'm bouncing right back. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy bunny. Iris, if you don't stop. Ryuki, would you mind hitting her with a German suplex? Damn, time to chill. Later. By the way, you're... And that's Mommy. She's one of my best friends. Bro, I love her fucking hair colors. Nice to meet you. My name I think... is Amame Doi. Okay. Doi. Amame, you're such a doi. I'm a third year at Sekiba High, and I'm in the same dance club as Iris. Her hair's like cotton candy. I love it. I'm a super hyper cutie miracle beauty. What is wrong with y'all? Are you okay? I think we should leave. Uh, hold on. So you're the one I heard about. Mizuki and Kizuna told me about you earlier. Huh. You just pictured me in a leotard, didn't you? Yes. Uh, no? Oh, it's a pervert! Somebody call the police! I said no! I am the police. Oh, come to think of it, you were on the quiz show last night, weren't you? Your name started with an R, I think. Yeah. Mr. Rero 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 Taro, was it? It's Ryuki! I <laughs> see. Mr. Ryuki Rero Taro. Yep. I don't think there's anyone from our generation that doesn't know who he is. He's famous for having a sharp tongue. He used to write a bunch of completely lame articles and critiques online. He used to start up stupid internet drama crap on Twitter, too. Amame has a pretty sharp tongue herself. His main job was being the CEO of Music Food. I guess that's like the president of the company? I think I read an article online that said he started the business when he was 22. But his history before then is shrouded in mystery. And no one knows anything about his childhood, right? Yeah. He was a pretty mysterious figure. I know about the incident. I was watching the live stream of that quiz show. Hmm. What does that say on the top? What? You could do the x-ray? No way, it's the bone structure thing again. Oh, a mommy turned into a skeleton. The bone structure. It's an x-ray. 
Anyway, the girl does have some nice femurs. Oh my god, the bone structure. I'd love to get inside those for a taste of the marrow. Damn. What is wrong with you? Yeah. I can see a mommy skeleton. job and dance practice. Where do you work? I work as a mermaid at a gaudy maid cafe called Sunfish Pocket. Mermaids are what they call the maids that work there. They wear these cute mermaid outfits as they serve the customers? Now I know because I used to work at Sunfish Pocket a long time ago. Mommy works there at night after dance practice. How late do you work? I don't tell anyone, but until about 11. Damn. Even when you were 17. Yes. Ever since I was 16. That's a violation of Article 61 of the Labor Standards Act. Bro, le let her work. Though, it would be the employer who would be penalized. Just let her work. I lied to the manager about my age. So according to my profile, I'm 20 years old right now. That's a bit... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please don't arrest me. Declares that you cannot employ anyone younger than 18 from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. Oh. My family's poor, so I need to keep working. True. Just, just let her do what she gotta do. I'm sorry, I don't know anything about it. It did feel like some sort of paranormal phenomenon, though. Paranormal? She about to, me she about to mention the Nizek laws. Like I mentioned last night, maybe that body teleported here from some other world. The other half could have been absorbed into some other dimension. And that's what the body in two. Speaking of which, there are rumors that people who watched that video and disappeared could have also been swallowed into another dimension. Mm. <laughs> is class over? Don't you know today is February 11th? National Foundation Day! Oh, right. Then why are you at school? Well, how do I put this? I just felt compelled. I can only wear this uniform and attend this school for about another month or so. So I invited mommy, and we just kind of ended up here. So school is closed, and y'all both invited each other to go to school in uniform to just sit in class. Iris and mommy are third years. They'll be graduating soon. I mean, hey, time is of the essence. German suplex. Clickety clack, clickety clack. I boiled a potato and my socks in a sack. Mr. Ryuki, are you okay? New folk anthem, what? The song Ryuki just sang was German soup socks, I think. Mm -hmm. Mizuki didn't tell you? She did, but I want to double check, just in case. The agency I belong to, Lemniscate, received a request for me to appear. They wanted me and one more person to participate as a pair. But we couldn't find anyone with an opening in their schedule. And that's why Mizuki ended up going instead. Iris is sitting on a chair. Leering at an 18 year old. That's a bit creepy, don't you think? I was not leering. Iris is just sitting on a chair. I have no further commentary. Now you're trying too hard. Well, what do you want me to say? Iris is sitting on a chair. Without a hint of lecherous intent, I'm looking at Iris sitting on a chair. That QR code video, a similar video went viral about half a year ago. That's 490 video. Supposedly, people who saw it suddenly vanished. That's weird. That's 490. Kizuna mentioned the same thing. So, they say those who went missing were taken into another dimension. A 
Did you also see it? Yes, so did I. But you two haven't disappeared. That's because we haven't decoded it. There's a code hidden inside BATS 490. They say the code reveals a specific location. Oh, so you telling me this motherfucker went to the back rooms. That's what happened. Motherfucker, what, the location was like, yo, this oil barrel and a flashlight. Motherfucker put his hand through that shit, went into the back rooms. That's exactly what happened. And then one half of his body got killed. Well, he got sliced in half in the back rooms. One half of his body flew out. And then six years later, the other half ended up getting out. Yeah, he got no clipped. You have to go there to get taken into another dimension. And the people who decrypted the code all said the same thing before vanishing. I've learned the secret of the world. Mm -mm. But no one knows what that secret is. It's kind of spooky. Mm. Who the fuck? Yanni. I told you to wait for me at the gate, didn't I? Wait at the gate? Yeah, but I got here a bit early. His name is Gen Ishiagane. He's the owner of the fusion restaurant Brahman in Golden Yokocho. No, I'm sure you already know that. He's so creepy looking. Yeah, I've been there many times. But why is Gen here? Ah, if it isn't Mr. Ryuki. Are you here to investigate that case by any chance? Yes. I was talking to Iris about it. I also watched the quiz show last night. Several people I know were on it. Uh oh, are you asking because I'm wearing this mask? Yes. It was fine. The security for this school is practically non-existent. There are tons of places on the grounds without any fences or security cameras. That's not good to know. So you didn't walk in through the front gate? I couldn't have dressed like this. A guard would have stopped me. So you came in from the back? Pause? There's a reason why he always wears a mask. He would scare people if he took it off. I haven't seen him without his mask myself, but that's what he said. Supposedly, it's something that he was born with. He got called a monster when he was a kid. This motherfucker uh, on his Jotaro shit, but um, from this show. My name is Jotaro. You're more than welcome to visit anytime. Yanni's cooking is And then he's amazing. probably gorgeous under it. Everything he makes is so good. My tongue could fall right off. Personally, I think his place and Matsushita Diner are competing for the number one spot. Come on now, don't compare my restaurant with a place like that. The cooking there was superb when Takiro was still the man behind the chef's knife. But now, it's his son Ota running things. Oh, damn. He doesn't know the first thing about cooking. Damn. These dishes are missing the most important condiment. Damn. My man just bashing Ota. I like him. I drove here to pick up Amame and Iris. I need them to help out at work tonight. Oh, I'm sorry, Genny. Something came up. Uh, oh, I see. I'm free, though. I can still help. That would be great. You two are close with Gen, huh? Yeah. We're just a big old happy threesome. Hello? That was a weird way to phrase it. Yes. Yes, it was. Thank you, Tama. Amame visited Brahman a lot, even back when it was in Yotsuya. Once it moved to Golden Yokocho, I took Iris there. You've been to Brahman too, Mr. Ryuki? Of course. I've been there several times. Mr. Date took me there. Mr. Date? So you must know Mr. Date too, Kenny. I've known him for a long time. We're so close, we've seen each other's buttholes. Yo, what is this dialogue, dude? What is this? Wow, what a small world. Iris, you are not just gonna brush over that sentence, Iris. Is she really going to ignore the butt parts? Yes, that's what I'm saying. What the fuck? Well, she just brushed I think it off. We've got enough info here for now. Ryuki, want to get going? Sounds good. Yo. You said I'm. What? It's a blackboard. Alright. It's a table. It's a monitor. It's a window. It's a 
chair. This, so it's not like I don't understand why you'd want to stroke that chair, but this is an all-girls school. So obviously there are only female students. So it's not like I don't understand why you'd want to stroke that chair, but I do not. She played too much. She played way too much. Nah, this guy look like a psychopath. Ah, oh, Tessa. Here comes my favorite um guitar riff. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. I hope it's the same song, please. Yes! Wait, you're the director yes. of that quiz show, Chimpe? You got a problem with that? No, but... I told you, he got out. He's making an honest living as a civilian these days. Ain't that right? That's right, boss. Stop calling me that. You're not a member of the gang anymore. An ashtray in this day and age? How anachronistic is this place? It's like a Yakuza done in here. That's exactly what it is. Do so fa Do re me Do re me so far Help! I've been flattened Hello? Did you just hear something? Yes! No, nothing Oh, just so you know, that thing's fake Bro, nah, I heard something It's not a real tiger Who the fuck made that noise? That noise. No dating apps allowed. True. to attend a vocational school to learn about film. I wanted to be a porn director. I used the connections I got there to reach out to a production company for online shows, and I was promoted to director right away. Supposedly, the last director ran away, so they really needed me to take his place. Sorry, but I haven't found anything that might be a lead. What about the rest of the staff? They'll probably tell you the same thing. The detectives from HQ have already questioned the rest of the staff. Their report is uploaded on the database. Zero clues. There isn't any information that could help us at all. I came to say thanks to the boss for yesterday. I was thinking of going to Akiba. This place is on the way. Why Akiba? Well, um, I need to stop by a maid cafe. Maid cafe? Oh yeah, my god, it's called Sunfish, Sunfish Pocket. Pocket. Yep. My girlfriend works there. Who your girlfriend? Wait, who your girlfriend? We didn't have enough people. The quiz show needed three teams of two to answer questions. We tried hard, but couldn't get together that last team. I had no choice but to participate myself, so I invited the boss to go with me. 
And MoMA agreed to participate? Uh, well, you know, it was a request from one of my precious underlings, after all. I convinced him by saying Tessa would be there, too. Then he agreed right away. the others. I already turned in the list of contestants to the cops. Why don't you try hitting them up one by one? The other detectives already took care of that a while back. No clues there either. There haven't been any reports of suspicious individuals. My girl has a baby on the way right now. Ooh. So we decided to get married, but her parents wouldn't approve of it. Said they wouldn't let me have their daughter unless I got out of the business. I agonized over the decision. So much that I could only eat two slices of pizza instead of the usual three. Damn. But a man has to do what a man has to do, right? So, I made up my mind to talk to the boss about it. But before I could... Oh, I get it. Then I'll try asking him for you. And MoMA listened to Iris. Wh what? I didn't have any ulterior motives, so don't get it twisted. Damn. I hacked into it. There were a ton of videos of salmon laying eggs in there. I don't... think that's a problem? We all have our own interests. X-ray. Yeah, I didn't take his finger or anything. We're not doing any of that outdated cutting off your finger deal. After all, the Kumakuras are a gang with morals. Sounds like an oxymoron. Like a vegan zombie. Damn. Didn't he just say so earlier? It is what it is. About the case. I'm pissed about the case, too. That co-appearance was like a dream come true. The whole show was ruined. I'd love to get my hands on the bastard responsible. A dream come true? The boss and Tessa got to... Hey, set you bet. Anyway. I'd love to help you with your investigation and all, but unfortunately, I don't have any info that might be useful to you. I don't know what to tell you. Did you see any suspicious people hanging around the studio, for example? Suspicious people? Hmm. I guess the only one who comes to mind is Kameji. Kameji? You mean... Who's that? Yeah, Andy's Kameji, the host. Supposedly, he has connection to the Yakuza. It's just something I heard at a meeting with the street bosses. Word what? is, he's involved in some dangerous transactions. Though, that might not have anything to do with last night. You said, man, isn't me or Momo sounds different? I was saying the same thing. Meiji has connections with the Yakuza? Could it be true? Let's figure that out later. You need to gather intel for now. Got it. And let's... Let's go somewhere else? All right. Department store. Oh god, who the fuck are we gonna see in here? Yo, if the taxi driver is here, I'm gonna be upset. Shoma, my little boy, he's in elementary school. One day I wake up, go to the bathroom mirror, and I have writing on my forehead. It must have been Shoma. He had been learning letters in school recently. Anyway, he writes, Death Tub. And I'm thinking, Death Tub? Is that what he meant? Is he trying to tell me something? Then Shoma saw my face and started busting out laughing. And I was thinking, what's so funny? That's when I realized, when you see Death Tub in the mirror... Butthead. Out of energy, inti, inti, pachaka max! <laughs> Tama, no, please. 
Oh my god, Thomas, stop. Another story about Shoma. One day I got a call from school and a rather heavy set vice principal told me. Your Shoma called me a pig of all things. I apologized, then gave Shoma a talking to. Listen here, Shoma. Don't you ever call the vice principal that again. He said, Okay, I won't call the vice principal a pig anymore, but it's okay if I call a pig vice principal, right? I say, sure, why not? So then as the kid is leaving, he says, I'm sorry, can I go play with my friends now, vice principal? God of energy, inti, inti, pachaka max! Oh my god, the sign fell. <laughs> Ryuki just straight faced. Ryuki is just like, mm -mm. um, are you finished? Well, you are the only one here. You're Mr. Ryuki from the Metropolitan Police Department, right? You came here to talk about what happened? Yes. Then let's go somewhere else to talk. You prefer someplace quieter, right? Damn. Damn. Chat. Oh my god, I gotta talk to this blockhead Wait, in Wait, the Ferris wheel? Yeah, we're well, why about to, not? We're about to Alone kiss. Alone with a middle-aged man in an enclosed space? This is not what I had in mind. Nah, but you were laughing at his jokes, though, the whole fucking time. Oh my goodness, bro. I'm sorry, I have no idea what happened. I was just invited there and hosted the show as requested. Then, that body suddenly appeared. Did you know Jin, the victim? I, I do know he was hated oh. for his extreme narcissism and ego. What did he say before? I've never met him? Okay. If I had to guess, the motive was probably a grudge. Someone must have had a grudge against him and did that. Wait, to cut him in half, though, is kind of... Mm. Why a Ferris wheel? I love Ferris wheels. I like anything that continuously spins around, actually. Plane propellers, washing machines, the beds at love hotels. There used to be rotating beds at love hotels a long time ago. How do you know that? Just like life, isn't it? With its ups and downs. You rotate around the same places over and over. Well, the beds at love hotels don't go up and down, though. Although, I guess they do, in a way. A boy is just like me, you know? Shoma? You mentioned him on stage earlier. Yes, he really loves this Ferris wheel, too. Where he at? He's almost in middle school, and he still comes here by himself all the time. He talks like he's all grown up, but he's still a kid inside. With your love of Ferris wheels, I'd say you're still a kid on the inside, too. <laughs> Bro, there's nothing in the <laughs> foreground. It's just a couple of buildings. Right. And, and, and it's just like, look, an empty void. Oh my goodness. He's right in the middle of his rebellious stage, so he's been a handful. His mother hasn't been around for about three years now. Was it a divorce? I can't lie. Yeah, yeah. you said this view is trash. Or this view is depressing. Left the house. Does this have to do with the Yakuza by any chance? What? Where in the world did that come from? Just something I heard. That you have gang connections. That's complete nonsense. I'm just an ordinary comedian. Well, even if it was true, he wouldn't just admit it. He's shitting bricks, though. Ah, does it? A little. A lot is more like it. Komeiji's blood alcohol level is 0.12%. 
the early stages of inebriation. I just couldn't get over what happened last night and ended up drinking too much. I wanted to forget about everything. I had to drink. Oh, this? It's my one and only stage outfit. This sharp little bow tie is the highlight. My boy bought it for me last year. Bow ties are somewhat unusual. Traditional ties are more common. But you weren't wearing that tie last night, were you? Oh, uh, I wasn't. I tend to take it off or put it on based on how I'm feeling. That's weird. Do you come to the stage a lot? Yeah, the owner of the Misaton department store took a liking to me. He's given me the opportunity to appear several times now. You know I'm a comedian now, but when I was in my early 20s, I was working as a regular company employee. I appeared on several quiz shows on the side and ended up winning first place many times. Komeiji was famous as a quiz king ever since he was a student. He even had worshippers who lauded him as the quiz god. Thinking back, that may have been the peak of my life. Adored wherever I went, everyone buying me all sorts of things. Maybe I shouldn't have taken advantage of the situation like I did. I was so enamored by the glamorous celebrity life. I've always loved comedy, so I strived to become a comedian. But after that, well, it's just as you saw on that stage. Damn. I wonder why there wasn't an audience. It was so funny. Ah, I haven't told you yet, have I? The producer for that show knew about me from my Quiz King days. He thought I could tell all sorts of anecdotes and gave me an offer to host the show. Ah, right. Sorry for calling you Team Popo back then. It was in the script. Didn't really have a choice. Team Popo. By the way, Iris and I wanted to read the shit. Sorry I couldn't help, Mr. Ryuki. I wish you luck with the investigation. I'm rooting for you. Now, if you'll excuse me. But where are the humans? I hear children and, and people, but I don't see anyone. Yeah, whatever happened to my Tamagotchi, bro? Yeah. What rank do you like? I don't know, heavyweight. Go back to sleep. Bonus. I don't even know what the fuck to do. Fighting lightweights. The stage. The sign. The benches. The light. Alright. Abus HQ. After this, I'm probably going to end the stream and we're going to call it a night. T Tama's room before ending the stream. Y'all just horny. But you know what? Why not? Yo, wait. So we're not going to have conversations in the car? There we You're go. You're going back to Abyss? Yeah. I want to reorganize the information I have so far. Damn. Then why don't you just do it in this limousine? Oh, right. I guess I could. Oh, mama. I love you. Oh my god, look at them feet. Who are you? Who are you? Shut up! Stop shouting! Yo, guess what? what? You surprised me. Fine ass I bitch. thought that the ghost of an you SNM pervert fool. with a police uniform fetish who died in a tanning booth had come to haunt me. Haven't I showed you this body many times over the past six months? Oh, you I'm did. I'm still not used to it. 
Your body is semi-transparent, and I can only see you in the left side of my vision. So, why did you come out? I thought it would be easier to talk to you this way. Oh my goodness. Honestly, it reeks of bad taste. Makes me want to puke just looking at it. Keep talking like that, and I'll throw you out the window. Then you'd be a goner too. I'm the one driving this car, you know. She Why don't you is? take the leap and buy a different car? I can't. This car is all I have of my parents. Your parents passed away, didn't they? Yeah, in an airplane crash when I was young. From then on, I was living with my younger brother. But six years ago, he also. Damn. Damn, to be honest, chat, I might save here. It takes a while for the data to save. And then we're just going to go into the room and see what the fuck you guys keep talking about. I like it when she's an eye. It's less dominating. True. Did the shit save? There we go. This shit takes a long ass time to save. You say yes, just press okay. No, but it takes a while for it to come back. Now, undress. Oh! Oh, uh... It's that thing, Tama. Uh, what is it again? How am I supposed to know? The only thing I know is yours. What thing are you talking about? Oh, you gotta clear chapters to get different outfits? Oh, shit. Cosplay is good, too. Oh! Yeah, it looks good. Oh my goodness, you can remove her hat? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Triangle to inspect? Oh my god, you guys know all the buttons already. Oh, y'all horny in the chat, bro. You could inspect her? Oh my god, I'm not zooming in that hard. Hey, caught you staring. Bitch! She said she caught me staring, I didn't even do anything. Oh my god, she's so fucking bad, bro. She is so fucking bad. Yeah, I feel like I'm playing a Senran Kagura game right now, bruh. Costumes are now available for previously cleared scenes. Bro. So how do you get more outfits? You can change your pose? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, chat, chat. You say you bought the DLC, nope. The JoJo pose. Oh my goodness, bro. Get the DLC, maybe next stream. She's like disgusted. Bruh, she too fine. They, they literally was like, yo, let's let's put a character in this game. And then they were like, what should we do with the character? Tits. Uh, um, what was that? Tits. Life advice. Worried about relationships? Sure, that's right. Mm. Can't express yourself well? Um, I can't join conversations. No, that's not true. Someone piss you off? <laughs> I don't like someone. That must be tough. Befriend those who you resent, said a famous Chinese general. Okay, maybe I got that wrong. But it's true. 
You and that person have different values, right? Yes. If you can befriend them, they can complement your weaknesses. Yes. First, befriend them and show them your belly like a dog does. Uh. Then I'm sure they'll wag their tail and follow you. No. Check her bio. Damn, we're gonna have to do that tomorrow. Eyeballs to purchase bonus content. I can't buy shit. that she could have had a ponytail oh my god there's so many of these that we're gonna have to unlock oh my goodness this shit gonna take forever The concept art is always nice. You said, I like the pigtails. All right. Chat. Thank you guys again. Oh, my goodness. You said, um, check out her profile. We're going to check that shit out tomorrow, boy. So, tomorrow, um, we're going to continue streaming this game. Thank you to the fucking overwhelming support that you guys fucking sent my way today in terms of, like, gifted subs. You guys are fucking psychopaths for that. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna wake up early, go to the gym. After the gym, we're gonna continue playing the fuck out of AI Summonum Files, okay? Oh my goodness. So, chat, it's 3 a.m., time for us to go to sleep. I'm gonna leave this stream up, obviously. So, to be honest, man, I might even highlight it and keep it on Twitch. It's like a VOD. Maybe I'll do that too. You said chat was not playing around. Chat was on cocaine. Before I end stream, let me see what the hell is here. Oh my goodness. Let me see what's on Twitter. Yo, that's... The, yo. What the fuck, dude? There's so much shit on Twitter that I'm seeing. I don't want to click it because I feel like it's going to have copyright audio and then it's going to, like, you know, kill the video. Yo, I kind of wish... I kind of wish there was, like, a deluxe edition to this game that had, like, um... Like, PSN avatars and shit like that. Damn, this game got 49 trophies. Holy shit. That's a lot of fucking trophies. That is a lot of trophies. Yo, so they... So, they added Lil Uzi? You said last game had 45 trophies? Yo, that's not bad. Games with a lot of trophies like that are fire. Man said Lil Uzi. Yup, that's what I'm gonna call him. Yo, save 50% on these dookie ass Fortnite skins. The only skin I want right now is the fucking banana skin. And I don't even play Fortnite. I wanna be a banana. That's it. I just want the banana skins. I always want the obscure, stupid ass skins. Ah, you said OBS. OBS did it again.
I don't know why OBS does it. All right, chat. So, thank you guys again for coming out. Thank you guys again for all the gifted subs and the overwhelming support. We will continue playing this shit tomorrow or later on today. And we're going to have a good time. Because so far, I'm already like very interested in the story. Because cause the other game, it was just people getting their eyes ripped out. But in this shit, it's, mo it's a motherfucker split in half. Alright? That is fucking weird. It's like, how the hell are we going to understand that shit? And then they have QR codes that is linking to like us watching shit in real life. I, I think that's a really cool twist to it. Alright? Shortest stream ever, of course. Short stream, shorter streamer. Alright, chat. Have a good night. Sleep tight. The bed bugs bite. Um, I don't know who the fuck is streaming right now. Nobody's streaming. Everybody is fucking sleeping or some shit. All right. Buenas noches, chat. And it's time to go to sleep. Peace. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Amaranth stream? Nah, bro. I'm not going to raid her. Yo, Amaranth, no joke. She be live all day. Just straight booty cheeks out and just her in a bikini. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's good money, but goddamn. Have a good night. You about to play some Genshin? Getting poopy. <laughs>